Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. We are getting ready to run a little more of the Lost Minds and the Mad Mage. We are on episode 52. Uh, I'll let them tell you where we're at and what's happening right now. But um, just let you know what I got going on this week. Uh, I'm running or sorry, I'm not running. I am in a, uh, a modern day 5e campaign that is starting tonight. We're doing our session zero um tomorrow i have uh uh sorry that is at 8 p.m my time eastern uh tomorrow 7 30 p.m eastern we have adventures in wild mount uh we're very close to the end of that campaign uh hopefully it does not get canceled again um and then monday i'm going to be off so i'll be back uh either thursday or friday uh next weekend is all video games all the time baby so with that in mind uh let's Let's get into it, shall we? Welcome to the game, everybody. Uh, would anybody like to give us a little rundown of what's happening, what's going on, and what we're doing right now? Um. So during our last session, we were given some, and by we, I mean me, was given some a bag of money in the tavern and i foolishly opened it in front of everyone and now people are trying to rob us in the middle of the night um we had set a trap by my my hope my room door that um somebody accidentally dumped on himself <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah we're just in the middle of combat trying to keep our belongings to ourselves and murder everyone that gets in the way all right, I love it. I love it. Well, I guess it's time to see what's going to happen, eh? Well, this one is right in front of Junto. <clears throat> so, uh, he's got not a whole lot. All right, well, uh... I'm pretty sure Junto had just kicked the shit out of this guy. Uh, he's looking very weak. And I quote... Let's fuck. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a memorable quote. Uh, so he's... I think Junto is going to be full of those. Hey, it was best like quote of last session, no doubt. Oh yeah, that stands out, man. Well, let's see if Junto gets fucked on. Oh shit, that's right. They're What's... all around me. Twenty-one hits you, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Let me pull up my compendium. Sorry, who's helping her? Uh, yes, seventeen. Yeah. Okay, you take eight piercing damage as he stabs you with the long sword. Uh, a little bitch. Being a little distracted, thinking you would whoop this guy's ass, you weren't expecting this turnaround, and he kind of just stabs you, uh, basically through one of your biceps. Mm. But in response, it is your turn. As he withdraws his sword, what would you like to do? Oh, he's fucked, dude. It's over. I've never heard night night so fast. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him with the cat, the kitty claws. Meow. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. Oh, goddamn. Okay, oh, that's, that's right. a way to open up. That's a way to it's, fucking send it, and then describe it. Cause I'm, yeah, yeah, you definitely finish him off. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I'm going to slash at his stomach. And then with my other paw, I'm going to slash down on his neck and tear his head off. Goddamn. Uh, with a crit? Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, it, you, uh, <laughs> your, your second attack, uh, it, it bites extremely deep. And his head just kind of like rolls back. There's a little piece of skin still attached by his spine but as his head rolls back the the weight kind of makes the makes it snap and it falls to the ground and he collapses Junto is going to look at the next couple dudes and he's going to come over here and he's going to send it again mm -hmm. uh That's a, that's a nope. 
Oh. All right. I'm going to expand. Wait. I can only do that once. Uh, extra attack, right? Uh, you can spend key points to do flurry of blows. Uh, is that a spell? Bonus action. Oh, okay. You're 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 a monk. You don't have any spells. Okay, so fury blows would be monk on arm strike, right? Yep. You get okay. two of them. Whoa, is this your first time or what? <laughs> this is my first time monking. Yeah, send the other one. Uh, yeah, okay. And... Warrior Blows gives you two. Oh, so I do it again? Damn. Oh? Yep. Okay. I'm assuming he's still... Oh, yeah, he still he, got he's wobbly still, legs. He, he's he's still good to go. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Uh, well, that is about all Junto's got. So, okay. all right. Uh, so as you behead the first one, uh, you rush forward to the second one and you do qu two quick strikes. Uh, you puncture all five nails into uh, his sternum. Um, he kind of, like, staggers back a second before you uh, give him a, a roundhouse kick to the uh, side of Wait. the jaw. Wait. I forgot that I can disengage. No, nah, that's a bonus action. Mobile? No. Pretty the mobile feet? A sec. I posted it. Uh, when you use the dash action, difficult terrain doesn't cause extra move. When you make a melee attack against a creature, you don't provoke attacks of opportunity from the creature for the rest of the turn, whether you hit or not. Nothing to do with disengaging. Uh, so monks, no, right, but that's... monks and rogues get to use the disengage. Like, for everybody else, it's an action. For you, it's a bonus action, but you use flurry, flurry of blows as your bonus action. All right. So you cannot disengage. But I can. But he can just move mobile. away without getting right. Attacked. That that's kind of more what I was focusing on. So I guess I wasn't being specific enough. But yeah, I can. Yes, walk that, away okay, from yes, this that guy. is true. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I only moved five, ten, fifteen. So he had the right thought, just the wrong wording. Basically. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, cool, cool. Because I was like, that's damn, cool I really I've don't want to sit there and just get my ass whooped. Cool. Okay. Oh, let me set your. Uh... Oh, oh, she having issues with the uh, push talk in Discord. By the way, you've got the wrong image up too, Junto. When you got a moment, um, this one here. As you uh, you begin to running away after beheading his ally, he's going to shift over to get a better line of sight. And he's going to shoot at you with his crossbow. Wow, that's another 21. Junto takes seven you're, piercing. You're attacking me? Yep. Okay. Seven. The other one's going to come here, and he's also going to use a short bow. That's a 23 to hit. Damn, I'm on fire. That is five piercing. It is going to hiss. Am I angry, Lee? Yeah, you, you take uh, one in each knee, basically. Uh, you, you kind of immediately rip them out. Um, so it doesn't impede your movement. But uh, you are now bleeding a little bit. I'm gonna lick my blood. That's not disturbing. Uh, I believe this one already used this ability, so he needs to roll and see if he gets it back. Cats are wild, man. They're unpredictable. And he gets it back. Oh, that's fun. 
Oh my god, I see Ray. What? You need to stop rolling while Savage. <laughs> Bro, I'm on fire. Which means the second half of the game is going to go really bad for me. You always <laughs> do well in the first ten minutes. And then after like that, it's over. It's because the Kahlua kicks in, and then it's all downhill from there. Oh, shit, How yeah. did you know I was drinking Kahlua? Well, you know, just a... Holy fuck, I am an alcoholic. Woman, womanly oh. instincts, dude. God damn. <clears throat> yeah, and you know what? Two minutes before the game started, I'm like, I think I want a little Kahlua in this iced coffee. I can predict the future. Oh, uh, either yeah, that or you just know I'm an alcoholic, one or the other. All right. <clears throat> this one looks at Zin and Junto. He uses an ability called Blood Boil. 20 foot radius sphere. And he's going to center it on. <clears throat> excuse me. On. Right behind Zin, I think, actually. Draw this out real quick. So, Ralira, Thoros, Zin, and Junto. Oh my god. Um, <clears throat> I need you all to make EC-17. Constitution saving throws, please. Me too? Um. Oh, shit. Yeah, everybody. And does he get his buddy north of me? Uh, they are actually not friends. They have nothing to do with each other, but yes, he does. Uh -huh. And he's not even going to fucking roll because he's dead. Oh, cool. I'm sorry, Consta who? Constitution? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it, didn't ya? Sure darn did. Nice. Ooh, if it meets, it beats. Yeah, uh, that is true. That is very true. So. <laughs> Thoros, Junto, and Ray, you each take half of 46. Or sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, half of 46. Ralira and Zen, you both take 46. What's the damage type? It is necrotic. I'm unconscious. Okay. He laughs as uh, you all start to you're, you're, you can feel your blood boil. Your 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 body starts to turn red. Um, bits of blood start to leak from your nose and your eyes, your gums. Um, Junto, you are really not looking good. Zin and Junto, you both hear a thud from the room. Uh, to your, I guess your lefts if you're facing the bad guys to the south. Zin, you can look in. You see Ralira has hit the ground. We're not looking good. We are not looking good. He then goes around the corner, trying getting some cover. Zin, I believe you still have Hunter's Mark. I believe that's what the green is, right? On this one yep. here? So I know where he is. Yep. Yep. He, uh, you hear the Thoros, you can hear the, the these ones back here say, What was that? Was that necrotic damage? It was necrotic. Oh, uh, Lauren's resistant. Okay, then she would have only taken 23. Uh, oh, she's not unconscious. Okay, uh, Junto, you succeeded. Do you you have evasion? Do you not? Now I'm thinking about it. I sure do. And evasion means oh, is it only work for dexterity? Doesn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. 
um, the sudden, um, suddenly watching one of this one's allies just hit the ground, um, blood flowing from, um, even his pores, staining the ground, uh, he's visibly shaken. Uh, he is going to actually, what's he got? He's got a, <clears throat> oh, really? Is that it? Uh, yeah, he's going to shoot at Thoros with a hand crossbow. 23? Oh, yeah, that hits. 8 piercing. He is then going to go into the room. And I'm only dropping 4 because I'm on rage. But... Yep. Uh, uh, this one is going to also... You know what? He's... He's feeling a little ballsy. He's actually going to run up on you. Bring it. And actually, I get to use my reaction, I think. Uh, Sentinel? Or Polar Master? Which is it? Uh, uh, Sentinel, I believe. Let me look real fast. Oh yeah, uh, you you have both. Sentinel have both. Okay, so, uh, and you're using a halberd, right? It's got a ten foot reach. Yep. Okay. So give me your attack of opportunity then. <laughs> that is just a hit. You stop him dead in his tracks right here. Give me your damage. Thirteen, okay. Uh, as he goes to rush in, uh, drawing his rapier, uh, you you spin on him, and with kind of like a, a backhand, you swing the halberd. Uh, he tries to stop, but you end up just getting a, a line drawn across the top of his chest. Uh, you can definitely see that it went through the armor, and uh, his blood starts to seep out. And he already pulled out his... Oh, he can still use his hand crossbow. He just can't reload it with the rapier in his hand. So he's gonna... Oh, that's a, that's a crit. Cool. Um, for a total of 13 damage. So uh, you take the lower half. Six. Got it. Uh, this one is going to open the door. Five. And anything worthwhile? Got a light cross. Thoros. Oh, that should not have rolled to you. Uh, 17? Uh, yes, sir, that's a hit. Six piercing. And I'm looking like a porcupine. You are. Uh, with, with every breath, you can see the, the, the bolts are just kind of like heaving up and down with your chest as you're, you're angry as fuck. Uh, oh, damn. That's unfortunate. He is not going to get his, uh, his advantage. Shame. Uh, well, he's going to stay at range. Hey, you hear him say to this one that just came out of the room, get close to him. Don't let him come this way. He is then going to fire a short bow at uh, Thoros. Um, Savage, I'm not on the turn order. Uh, oh, apparently neither is Zinn. Oh, yep. I feel like they never went last time we were playing. No, they did. I changed their tokens, and I must have forgot to add them back in. <laughs> Which, all right, give me a second.
Okay. Uh, found it. We have Ray at 14.5. Remember your number, please. And Zin, you're at 12.2. Okay. Sorry, can you say that again? 14.5. Did you by chance miss Ray's turn then since we're at 12.18? Uh, yeah, and Zen should actually be right after. Uh, yeah. So, right, be right? right? Right before this dude? Yep. <clears throat> right before the dude who's taking his turn now. So, Ray, go ahead, take your turn. Um, Is Thoros blocking the entire door? Uh, no, the, the dead body is, was blocking half of it, so it's rough terrain to get out, but you can get out. <clears throat> oh. Okie dokie. I think I'm going to use Call Lightning. Uh, the... You cannot use that. The spell fails if you can't see a point in the air where a storm cloud could appear. You basically have to be outside to use it. That's the worst. Leak in the ceiling? <laughs> Not how that's going to work. I, 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 I would allow it if it was like, you know, a, a 60, 70 foot cavern. You know? Uh, like the 60 to 70 feet to the ceiling, but like the, this is 10 feet. There's no way you're getting a storm cloud inside of, you know, 10 feet. As you look around, you do see two of your allies are extremely hurt. The one you just yeah, passed so is a little hurt. What I'm going to do, actually, instead of, if I can't use call lightning, then I'm just going to stay in the room. Okay. And then for aura vitality, it doesn't specify. Do I have to see the people? Um, can you post it for me? 30 foot radius until the spell ends or moves with you centered on you. You can use an action cause one uh, to actually to cause somebody to heal. I would say yes, you do have to see them. OK, because it doesn't specify. And if his spell went around walls and corners, uh, his spell does specify. It's just like fireball. So when it says, like, uh, you can choose a creature, you would have to be able to see the creature. Well, it just says any creature in a 30-foot radius centered on me. It doesn't specify that I pick. You can cause one creature. That, that specifies that you can pick. Okay, because I'm just confused because it says, so casting it is an action, but then a bonus action is an additional healing. So when you cast it, that just gives you the aura. You need to use your bonus action to actually um, activate the properties.
So to actually cast the, it's, it's like casting a spell like Witch Bolt, you know, uh, it continues because it's concentration. And then each subsequent turn, uh, Witch Bolt used an action though, so it would have to be every subsequent turn. But with this one, you cause the aura to begin. However, to actually use the, the healing ability would cost your bonus action. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. I've just I've never used it in combat before. We've only ever used it outside of combat, so I just didn't know how it worked. Yeah, yeah, combat. for sure, for sure. I'm just, I'm just I'm just making sure my explanation is clear. I don't always explain things overly well, so that's all. Oh yeah, yeah. No worries. Okay, so then I think. Yeah, no, for sure, bud. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no. Make fun of us Canadians. I'll smite no, your ass. I, I, learned, <laughs> I learned what it means now when you guys do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, wh whatever the, the last word is in the yeah, no sequence, that, that's usually what it means. Is It's, it's well, the last it's one. it's that and also the fact that like it's you guys thinking of the next thing to say. <laughs> that, that, that's actually fucking true. Yeah, I mean, a Canadian told me that. I, I believe him. <laughs> Don't do it. It's Canadian disinformation just to keep you on your toes. Oh, fuck right off. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, for sure, bud. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to moonbeam these fuckers. Because okay. I've used that in dungeons before. Yep, yep. That one you can use because it doesn't actually use, like, uh, the, the power of the moon. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to use it during the day, right? So, yeah, that, that, that will work. And okay, I so take it, you can see them, right? Yeah, I can see them. Perfect. And five foot radius. So it will hit that whole area. Uh, I will draw that out. Second. Just so you have it. And we are going to make it yellowish. Oops, how do I get rid of that? Uh, you just you got to click on the actual line of the circle and then hit delete. All right, and it is what kind of save? Con save. All right, and your spell save is 16. Uh, one of them fails, one of them does not. Roll me your damage. Okay. Would you like to describe uh, what it looks like as one of them drops to the ground? <laughs> okay, so you know like when lightning would hit like a watermelon? And it would just like explode. <laughs> kind of that. Nice. For a moment, blisters form across his skin and he starts to shake and then just pops. Um, pieces of him are everywhere. He's, he's, I'm just gonna delete him completely. <laughs> um, and then can I tell if Thoros is like really, really injured? Uh, Theros, would you like to describe what you're looking like right now? Yeah, I've been better, I've been worse. I'm okay. Okay, not helpful. Um, <laughs> Theros is, is bloody, but he's, he's kind of reveling in it, so he's not worried if you're not worried. Is that okay. Big? That helps. He's, uh, better, more better than worse. How's that? A little bloody, but but not too bad off. He's still standing. He's still strong. Okay. Well, I'm going to use um, cure. No, I think it's healing word. That's a bonus. I'm going to use healing word on you. Okay. Thanks. Rip. <laughs> right. I just, I can't leave the room. It's dangerous. Oh, Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I won't let you die. I, I promise. Could, I won't yeah, I let you die. see what I see right now because it's not good. Don't worry. My moonbeam's coming to help. 
Uh, yeah. So and that's that's my turn. Thoros, you you uh, a couple of the uh, bolts kind of push out of your skin as the the wounds seal up. Okay, sorry. Um, I have a question, not combat related. Would um, what are your guys' characters? Junto and Rolera, Wouldn't they have um, like healing potions too? Because we all split them, didn't we? They hadn't split them yet. Nope. Oh, so they wouldn't have them even if they came in late because we split them with the group earlier. Yeah, we just met you guys. Yep. I just didn't know like how Savage would do like your items and stuff. Uh, uh, he I, hates I, us. No, I, I I told them what items they could have, and neither one of them chose any uh, any potions or nothing. So. Okay. okay. Yeah, we did you pick potions. Already. We just didn't have enough money to buy them. What? We didn't have enough money to buy them. Oh. No, no. The one that uh, I had, I used. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So you you had a specific amount of money, but that was for you to enter the game with to pay for things. Uh. So, yeah, I so thought that's what the the money for like our health potions and stuff were. No. Um. You could choose to uh use take some of those as common items and whatnot. But to actually buy them beforehand, that that was a no because that that was just the money you were coming in with. I basically gave you the same amount of money that everybody else currently had. Uh... Yeah. We used all that money for getting the stuff. Yeah, that's what yeah, I. Yeah, so you, you I guess you were supposed to have X amount of items plus that money. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah, see. I, yeah. How how much how much money do you two have right now? Twenty four GP. <laughs> I have money because I stole. Okay, so do you know what you had before you stole that big bag of money? Because you should have, uh, I believe it was a thousand gold to enter the game with. Yeah, but so we came in with way less than that because we thought that we had to use that money to get the items. No, 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 no. That that was that was you. You had your list of items, yeah, which you guys we, do we have the right amount now. of items, and then and then on top of that, you guys should have a thousand gold. So, I was gonna say Savage is Savage, but I don't know if he's that Savage. No, no. <laughs> wow. So, like when we were getting the items, there was stuff that we wanted, but we thought we didn't have enough money for, like a potion of supreme healing and things like that. Um, potion of supreme healing would be a rare item, so you would not have been able to get that. Or supreme healing, sorry, that's a very rare item. You would not have had enough money for that, anyways. Probably greater is but what you I can feel get like. like yeah, greater healing greater or potion. potion of healing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but no, your uh, your money that you enter with was was not for the items. The uh, the items were just the items. All right, I see now. Uh, but Zin. That means you guys are rich now. Eh, I mean, compared to most people, yes. Compared to rich people, no. It, it, it's it's kind of like uh, you know, a uh, an adult having two hundred dollars. Look, don't steal the thunder, okay? <laughs> Zin, you're up. Yeah. Um. So I know where this guy is, right? Uh, yes, because you do. Of Hunter's Mark. You sure do. Okay. Um, you can't see question. it, but there is a wall there. He's he's on the other side of the wall. It's just not lined up with the grid. Got it. Understood. That's fine. Uh, so if I were to move to like here, I still wouldn't be able to see him, right? No, you would actually have to move to like uh here, maybe here to see him. Here, he'd probably still have half cover. You'd have to get right next oh, like to he, him. Oh, like he's yeah, he, so, he's around sorry, the corner. I can't actually see him. Yeah, like here, yeah, I'll, I'll move him so you can like... see the wall. See the wall? Oh, so he's actually behind a wall. Yes, yes. Understood. Okay, so that's not going to help. Sorry. Because um, <clears throat> I'd know that he's behind a wall, probably. Oh, yeah. Going so you, out of the space and where he is. Yeah, with, with your hunter's mark, you know exactly where he is. He, You know he's right around the corner. Okay. Mm. Gotta get some homing arrows, man. Yeah, right? Fuck. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I guess because this guy's a problem. I'm gonna fire at this guy. Okay. <clears throat> um. Just FYI, I don't know where the uh, dynamic lighting is. Uh, there is a door here as well, by the way. Oh, is there? Yeah, right here. Mm. And do I know, like, so player, like my character knowledge? Would he know that that's a hallway? That the yes, guy's in? that that is where the baths <laughs> are. And uh, you guys have spent enough time in this inn that I'm assuming you guys would have had some baths. So. Yes. 
definitely. Okay. So would I would I be able to go up to the the door from here and get through? Uh yeah, you can just click on it and hit open. Okay. Uh 5 10 15 20 So I can see him now. You sure can. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to shoot at him with my longbow. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's not advantage. <clears throat> uh, that's okay. You you rolled disadvantage. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. And yeah, you've got the plus three. That is a hit. Okay, just gonna make sure I have all my correct stuff on it. Uh, eighteen. 18. Yep. And again. More, more. Yep. And nineteen. Thirty-seven. Yep. So, uh, him thinking he's got the uh, the advantage here. Uh, he he's kind of like watching this corner, waiting for somebody to come around it. Uh, mm. Unluckily for him, he <clears throat> suddenly hears a door open, and he turns behind him just in time to catch two arrows uh, in the left side of his ribs. Uh, you hear a strange, um, almost like mechanical, crystalline. Ugh! Oh, you pesky thing. Stay out of my way. I only want Relira. I'm sorry, did you say mechanical sounding? Uh, yes. Mechanical like crystalline soundling. Sort of. Cyborg? No. That's my dream. T-1000. Uh, anything else, Mr. Zinn? Yeah, um, so I'm going to move, because that was, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 feet. Uh, is this a wall right here? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, okay. So yes, each of the door. bathrooms has, uh, Goodbye. is separated by wall and curtain. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll move behind the wall. Okay. Um, and then, uh, Yukina. Because I gave them orders last time. Um, seeing no enemies in here, we'll probably try to head out the door. 5, 10, 15, 25. Well, I guess, yeah, 25, 30. And we'll move up here and bite this guy, closest person. Yeah, sure. Uh, you kind of rushes out of the room and leaps up onto the bench, um, going for this man's... Uh, neck area that is a hit uh he manages to kind of like step back a little bit but she still catches like just underneath the neck at the very tip top of the chest uh takes a chunk of flesh out uh thoros you can hear the rip uh and the uh, as he lets out a, a scream what is that they have That's a dragon your worst nightmare. <laughs> okay, and with that, uh, this... Who's a good girl? Ray, I need you to roll your moonbeam damage, please. Four. Ow. Ouch. Uh, ouch. Oops, that is the wrong character, but he rolled a 16 plus 2, so 18. Yeah, uh, so he's just taking half. Yeah. His, his skin begins to bubble as well, but he kind of like tries to lift a cloak up and shield himself from it. He steps out, and he gets... Uh, gets his attack. Where's... Okay. Uh, let's see. 11 is a miss. Uh, 18 on Yukina. Oh, sorry, he has advantage. My bad, one second. Okay, so 11... Oh, because Yukina's close? Yeah, uh, because, uh, he's... Well, he doesn't... He's because of the dude that's in front of Yukina. 
he actually has advantage. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, that's he's a rogue, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so uh, eighteen. Yep. All right. You can uh, take nine piercing, six poison, and sixteen sneak. You can now poofs. Okay. Uh, so the next rolls are not at advantage. Uh, he aims at Thoros, so that is a 10 in, and a nat 1, so those are both misses. That one is dead, so it is Relira. you're up. Is there... I don't think there's anything I can do, is there? Um... So... So what you can do is you're within range to step out into the hallway, take a shot, and then dip back in so you're in cover. Um... Uh... Okay, so I'll do that. Object interaction, open the door. You step out. All right, so your options are this guy, this guy, or this guy to take a shot at. However, if you wanted to get your sneak attack, uh, we can say that uh, if you wanted to roll stealth before uh, you stepped out the room, you can do I that. I was looking at my sneak attack thing, but it says something like if I have an advantage, which I don't... So if you stealth and you roll high enough, they don't know where you are. If You, you can just pop out, shoot, and then go back. So stealth, uh, if, if they don't know where you are, you have advantage. Now, they were aware you were in there. However, if you, you roll high enough on your stealth check for your bonus action, because you can do that as a rogue to hide, and then you just pop out and shoot, you can get your sneak attack. So if you roll stealth... All right, let's try that. So... Yeah, so just clarify, your sequence would be you're in the corner, you bonus action hide, you walk out, shoot with your action, dip back in. Yeah, so that that's what rogues are are well, rogues and monks really are well known for is their uh their striking runners. So basically, you step out, you strike, and then you find a way to get out of line of sight again. Fifteen, okay. And which one are you going for? Uh, I'm going for the guy um in the blue one. So if you click and hold, it'll ping. There you go. Yep, perfect. All right, so he's going to do a perception to see if uh, he's aware. He rolled an 18. So you're not going to get your sneak attack, but you can still get your attack off. Shoot him in the face! Okay, that's good, but I need some water. But vodka in it? Jesus Christ, I'm not that much of a fucking alcoholic. Oh, that's shit. Just bugging. Yes, that's that what we're talking about. Roll. Okay. <clears throat> um. We don't need no mans. We'll do this by ourselves. Do you have a... You, you don't have extra attack as a rogue, right? No, you don't. Okay, so uh, you only get the one attack, but uh, still 26 hits, 12 piercing. Good roll. Uh, 
Uh, so you step out, um, hoping to catch him by surprise. Unfortunately, he does see it coming, but he's not quick enough to step out of the way of the arrow. Uh, he takes it in the right shoulder. You still have 10 feet of movement left. Well, she can't hide. She used her bonus action, but she can get uh, get back in the room to, so she breaks line of sight. <clears throat> Smite, dude. <laughs> what? Oh, Ray was talking about BG three, and she apparently plays like a rogue, and I usually go with paladins. Oh, uh, got you, got small. you. Yeah, this is my first time playing a rogue in Baldur's Gate. Normally, I did a my first playthrough as a druid. So oh, sorry, I'm a ranger, JK. Um, just to give you a heads up, uh, Rilera, right now, you are not in cover. This guy here can see you. So, whatever you can see, um, they can see you as well. So, he can, you can see this token here. So, what you can do, however, is if instead of going there, you actually go here. Um, that should break line of sight on everybody, I believe. Yeah, the only thing, you, the only person you can see now is Junto. And then you say end turn, so we know to move to the next one. All right, end turn. Uh, Thoros, you are up. Cool, I'm going to attack the little green fellow with my halberd. Okay. Uh, you, as you stop him in his trash, you try to make uh, another attack, and unfortunately, uh, this one, he ducks underneath. Go ahead and make your extra one. Actually, I'm going to use the plus five from the Halberd of Dummies. Okay. Does that use your reaction? No. Okay. I don't think so. Let me look. Let me look. Let me check. You do have your reaction because you, uh, your turn uh, is re -opt. I just want to make sure. Yeah, no, it doesn't say reaction. Oh, which is uh, weird because it should. What? Uh... All right, hold on a second. Up, I'll post it. I said I will get the sex. All right. Oh, well, there's three charges regained. This is an attack where you spend a charge gain. It's five. Potentially cause an attack hit. Weapon congratulates you when you hit your enemy. <laughs> Everybody in the vicinity suddenly hears a strange laughter. <laughs> you couldn't hit the broad side of a cow barn, you fool! As you still miss. Cool. I will attack again. That one is a hit. The uh, the braiding of your own weapon um, <laughs> bolsters you on. Uh, this time you get a a nasty hit. Uh, you you feel a bone break as you uh, slam this halberd into his arm. Um, it goes about three quarters of the way through. It, his one of his arms is like kind of hanging off. Don't forget to um. congratulate him. No, it doesn't do that. That's the bad part. Uh, it does. It, it does. It, it does. Weapon congratulates you when you hit an enemy. But, oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does. Oh, hey. It does you when you use the charge, though. That's how ah. I'm doing that. Otherwise, it's it's gonna it's gonna take forever. So if you use a charge yeah, and it makes yeah. you hit, then he'll congratulate you. Got That's it. funny okay. though. But yeah, yeah, totally. And bonus action. Hit back of the halberd. Um, That'd feeling thick, feeling extra head. bolstered. Um, after so it's part of the halberd, but then the joke about the dummy thick butt. <laughs> oh, after the uh, 
after the you, you get your second hit with the halberd, uh, you spin it around and you slam it into his forehead with the butt end. He's kind of staggered a little bit. He's a little in shock, almost losing an arm, and he's got a big goose egg forming on his forehead. And that's me. He is dead. Junto! What are you doing? I'm gonna pop my uh, potion of greater healing. Okay. Using that as an action or a bonus action? Bonus. All right, so then you get to roll for your heal instead of uh, full amount. Not a bad roll. Pretty goddamn good. And Junto's pretty pissed, so he's sending it on this homie down here. Okay. Oh, yeah, he is. Is he dead? No. I'm going to stunning strike that. Okay. See the damage? And what is the DC for your stunning strike, sir? Is it my constitution? Uh, it would be your constitution mod. So 16. 16 and uh be a save so which one is this this is the <laughs> uh he literally got a 16 cool i'm gonna hit him with flurry of blows uh you still have your extra attack oh yeah Fuck him up. Uh, that is a hit. Are you, are you going to try to do another uh, stun? Um, is he how is he fucked up? He he's looking pretty hurt. Pretty hurt. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna fucking flurry a boat blows him. Though. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, fuck yes. Oh. Uh. Yeah, you want to describe it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Junto's just going to Jojo his ass and just endlessly punch him, even when he's going down. And I'm just sending it to his chest until, you know, he's just a pummeled mushy mess the speed at which your your fists hit, are, are hitting hostile forces are giving us a beating mm, yes that's just how daddy likes it what the fuck <laughs> sorry i didn't know what it i didn't know what it was <laughs> Perfect. jesus christ um yeah your your the speed of your punches is just pummeling this creature it's keeping him up in fact after a moment you notice that he's like you know, his feet are off the ground, and you're just, you're basically juggling him like this in Mortal Kombat 2. Um, before you give one final punch, you feel all of his bones between his sternum, his ribs, everything just crush and shatter before it sends him flying into the wall in a bloody mess. Get fucked, nerd. All right, well, he's dead. He is not, however. Yeah, I, that that's the end of my turn. Yeah, uh, this one steps out. And... Uh, 
Actually, he's not going to. He's going to stay where he is. And he's going to use an ability. Ooh, that he hasn't used yet. Oh, don't worry. He's not attacking right now. Took his action. Fact. Let me just do that real quick. All right. Uh, the Blood Mage. Oh, no. Ooh. Yeah. But it's savage. <laughs> um, he's not going to use this, though, because the moment he's in cover. But what he's going to do... I hope you motherfuckers got a plan. <laughs> Are we the motherfuckers? Oh, for sure. So he is not, he, he's, again, he's on this, on not your side of the walls in. I just, uh, the grid doesn't line up. So he is, he's on the other side of this wall. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, and, huh, strange. He's, he paused. I wonder why he did that. But he seems to be waiting for something. Uh, the thief. Which one's this? That one in there. Cool, cool. So, he's going to roll a stealth. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... Thoros, you, sir, can roll me a perception. Oh, shit. Thank you. This one, you begin to hear something creeping back outside the door. Um, He is not going to get his sneak attack, because you notice him. Uh, He is going to... Blippity blap. Get back or get clapped. Uh, 20. Hits. Well, no sneak attack, though. So, 9 piercing. Is that going to go back into hiding? Uh, this one. Holding his, uh, rapier and... Kind of like trying to hold his nearly severed hand uh, against his, his stomach. Uh, he kind of rushes in with his rapier. He goes to stab you. Uh, 10 is definitely a miss. Uh, you already said 20 hits. So uh, as, as he charges in at you, uh, he goes to stab once. And you just kind of bat it away with your axe. But you leave yourself open for the uh, the quicker second attack. Uh, which is 10 piercing. Uh, wow. I need you to make a con saving throw, please. Curb stomp this bitch. Well, Use 19. That is a success. So you're only going to take half of this. So you take Ooh. another 10, uh, poison. He needs to die. Yeah, man. Hey, Ray. Yeah? It's your turn. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Can I move <laughs> my moonbeam? Like, right here. Just on the cusp. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't see this coming. The, the moonbeam shifts across the floor. You can see it kind of leaving scorch marks in the in the ground as it moves. Um, suddenly, he is bathed in this light. Give me your damage, and he will do his uh, con save. Oh, that's a uh, fail. His skin be begins to turn like a uh, a crispy black. 
Um, he's not looking good. A half severed arm. Uh, being scorchy, he starts to scream and like try and uh, he in fact drops his rapier as he's trying to pat uh pat himself down, thinking this this is fire and not you know a radiant burning light. Got anything else? Um, maybe. I'm thinking. Oh, I need to get out of the room. Okay, I am going to... I'm going to use my healing staff on Thoros. Okay, what are you casting? I'm going to do Cure Wounds. Uh, your Moonbeam, is not an action to move it? Or is it a bonus action? It's a bonus action. Thank you. Oh, sorry. It does say use an action to move it. So then I will do a healing word, I guess, instead of cure wounds. Okay. Do I have to re-roll the healing? Yep, because they, they do uh, healing word as a d4 and cure wounds as a d8. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, I mean, actually, yeah, no, that's not... I was about to say, ah, it's not bad. No, you're right. It's just a bit of something. <laughs> I'll take it and say thank you. I've got no issues. The rest of the team's about to go down. Damn. I need out of the room. But everything's blocking the door. No, you can get out. No, we can't. My moonbeam's right there. I don't want to get sizzled. Well, I mean, now it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, uh, I guess that if you're not leaving the room, that's probably it for you then, eh? Yeah. All right. Sin, you're up. Um... So this guy's just on the other side of the wall from me. Uh huh. And I know that because I I saw that. And he and he's but he didn't. He just paused, right? Yep. Okay. A smile will cross Sin's face as he casts silence right here. Hey. Oh, that's hot. Sure. Zin will then use a free action. To drop his bow, but it will make no sound. Okay. Bonus action to pull out his scimitar. Huh? And he'll step right in front of him. Uh, so there's a curtain there. So oh. you can do a perception to see if you know he's on the other side. But I already do. I heard him walk there. Correct. That is correct. So I'll just push through if you want me to to here. I have movement. No, no. It. You stay where you are. Um, but he is, uh, going to do a perception to see if he can see your shadow from this sconce here. Sure. He knows you're there, so as you raise your scimitar, he was holding an action. Does that require verbal components? It does not. It's a melee attack. Okay. And it's a 28. It's a 28? Yep, to hit. That uh, hits. You have resistance to necrotic? Nope. 20. Zen is down. Unable to regain hit points until the uh, start of the Blood Mage's next turn. As you start to... Uh, as... You feel this um, lash snap through the curtain and hit you just as you're getting ready for your attack. You suddenly hit the ground and you feel your blood kind of like uh, start to pool in the area where um, you took a hit as you fall backwards on the ground. 
start to cough and choke. Um, and you can only think, this is it. The Master Thief is going to make an attack at uh, Thoros. Uh, that's definitely a hit. The other two are misses. Uh, he does get his sneak attack, however. Ow. Seven piercing, six poison, and 18 sneak. Total of 31, um, cut in half. He, he's then going to dip into the room here. And where is his... Okay, and he's going to use his bonus action to do that. Ralira. Hello. It is your turn. If you're talking, we can't hear you. Um, I I was trying to come out and I was gonna do the stealth thing, but Julian just told me that I'm supposed to do that before they can before I'm there. Yes. Um. Everybody else here, they're not new, so I would enforce you know um not being able to do it after you move, but you're new. So, you can roll it. You, you, you got a few more games before I, I start, uh, you know, getting hard-assed on the, on the rolls. Okay. And there's only one that's going to be in vision, so he is going to do a perception, see if he can see you. All right, uh, if you come out and attack, you will have your, your sneak attack. The only one you can currently see is this one here. <clears throat> Blair, how does she use her plus one arrows? Um, does she have a spot in her global attacks and modifiers that says plus one arrow? No. Okay, give me a sec. I'll add them. All right, so um, how she's going to do this, uh, or I should just, and you're not here apparently. Uh, so what you do is you got to, under your uh, global attack modifier and your global damage modifier, you will click the buttons that say plus one arrow. So there's a check mark beside them there. 
And then you roll your attack. Okay, um, <laughs> fuck yeah. You want to describe that? I honestly can't even see what happened yet, so I can't. Oh, well, well, he's dead. Uh, I'll tell you that. So you can just, you know, you make your shot, and then you get to, if, yeah. if you want, you can just describe how it hits and what happens, you know, like, kind of thing. So, Rhaelyra, uh, despite, you know, being extremely unwell manages to uh stumble out of the room uh without the intruder seeing her and she pierces him directly in the heart as he immediately dies how was that that, Fuck that, that was good beautiful. hell yeah and he hits the ground with a thud Thoro, she didn't even see her come out. She just pops out, lets loose an arrow, and uh, the one you were fighting uh, dies horribly. Yay. Uh, you still have more movement, and you have... Uh... Oh, no, you used your bonus action to hide, so you still got your movement oh, I left. I bonus action. Okay. So I just have more movement and yeah. um, a reaction. You do know that Ray is in the next room to you, and... Uh... Through conversations that you had the day before or the evening before, you are aware that she is a healer. <clears throat> but can she get in there through my moonbeam? Um, yeah, yes. probably. If she's got the movement for it. Bodies. Where, where is Ray? She's in the next room above you. Uh, come to me. However, you've moved five ten, so you've only got twenty feet of movement, which would put you on Thoros. What if I did the Blessing of the Raven Queen? Oh, what does that do? It allows me to move 60, I think, to teleport, or 30, 30 more to teleport into a place I can see. So could I teleport to in front of her door and then walk in? Uh, post it for me, just to give me a little clarification. <laughs> Please and thank you. Magically teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space you can see. You can use a trait number of times equal to your proficiency. <clears throat> uh, you used your bonus action. So, oh, got it. Okay. So, um, you have a couple options. Your first option is to get as close to the door as you can, but if there's enemies, still enemies, it might leave you open to attack. Or what you could do is you just kind of pop back inside the door, and then on your next turn, you get as close as you can and then use your bonus action to teleport in and hope she can, you know, help you out. Those are basically uh, your options. Okay. Are reactions relevant? Um, reactions uh, have a triggering event. So what reaction are you talking about? I don't know. I just last time I think I had a lot of things I could have done as a reaction that I didn't know about. Um, <laughs> but right now, nobody's attacking me, so I think it's not relevant, correct? Yeah. I mean, sometimes uh, a reaction is triggered by an attack, uh, by somebody making or failing a saving throw. Like, it all depends on which one it is. So, like, if, if you want to post it up, I'll tell you exactly how to use it. I'm just going to go back into uh, the room. Okay. And done. All right. Thoros. Uh, you know that somebody walked into this room up here. Sorry, that door should be open. Um. You also know that uh, somebody walked into the room down here to the right. 
and you are aware somebody walked into this room and you are aware that the um uh the one boiling people's blood went down around this corner into the area with the bathhouse or the, the bathing area bathing area what would you like to do replicate myself uh, <laughs> you are no longer valorant sir right i'm gonna move to there do i see him uh yeah yes you do and i'm gonna attack him okay that is uh that is just a hit You charge into this room, and as soon as you walk in, you immediately swing. Um, he manages to kind of matrix backwards. Uh, you take a chunk off his chin, though. Uh, as you finish with that swing, uh, just Here's before... Charge. Uh, okay. Just before you uh, you hit the wall, you bring it back around and you do an overhead chop. He tries to step out of the way. Failing. And, ah, uh, about time you made a decent attack, you big loaf. Seven. Yeah, uh... You, you take a chunk off the side of his foot, and then you kind of, like, uh, step back half a step, spin it, and slam him in the gut uh, with the side of the, uh, of the um, halberd hole. Oh. And that's my turn. How's he looking, by the way, just for planning purposes? Uh, he's looking like he's still ready to fight, but, uh, I mean... Given that it's pretty obvious he's a rogue, this is not an ideal situation for him. Yay. Did you guys run into the next room? Uh, Junto, you know that Zin went around this corner down here. Okay. And okay. into that That's area. You know Ray is here. You saw Thoros go into this area. And you know Relir is in the room next to you. Oh, this one's going to be fun. I'm sorry, Gento. Savage question for you. Yep. Necrotic damage reduces max HP, correct? Uh, no, not always. Uh, only if it specifies. Okay. Technically, the raw rule is if, if uh, necrotic damage reduces you to zero, it's supposed to kill you. I don't like that rule. That's way too overpowered. So it it's, it's just does the damage. Yeah, gotcha, because that's what I was thinking, is that I'm permanently dead. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't like that rule. I don't run that shit. That's, that's way too overpowered, especially because I really like undead enemies, and I'm not trying to kill half the squad every time you have a combat. Damn, I yeah, fucked up. Totally makes sense. Did you? Yeah, I have deflect missiles. I could have fucking ruined some motherfuckers, dude. I forgot I'm literally, like, in the Matrix right now. <laughs> well, you're going to get your chance. Because uh, this creature's invisible. However, he steps back out. And he shoots at you. Which gives him advantage and sneak attack if he hits. Yeah, so I'll use my reaction. That is a 20. Reason for reaction. Deflect missiles. Alright, use your reaction to deflect or catch a missile. You are hit. Uh, by range weapon attack, when you do so, damage you take is reduced by 1d10 plus dex plus monk level. Okay, so, uh, roll your, uh, d10, um, and add your dex modifier and your monk level. Which means you dex might reduce... Dex modifier, the, the 9 or the 20? Um, so the, the modifier is always going to be the smaller of the two numbers. Wait, you have a 20? How do you have a 9 in your decks? 
Uh, proficiency. I was looking under saving throws. Oh uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, no. It's uh, it's the column on the left, and it's always going to okay. be the smaller of like not physically smaller, but the the lower number. So it would be uh, if you got a twenty, it would be a five. So five plus monk level and a d10. And where do I see? Me? See what? My monk level. Uh, at the very top of your main page. It'll, it'll say, like, monk level whatever. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, 15. So you took 14 from the sneak and 9 from the actual weapon, which makes that 23. So you take 15 away from that. So you take 8 piercing damage. And he is now visible. And then he's going to... What happened to my turn? Oh, I skipped you. Yeah. Okay, well, he's still invisible Rude. then. My bad. Go ahead. I'm going to add my health back, asshole. <laughs> so you don't know that that guy's there then, because he was invisible. You know, You knew there was somebody down there. You, as you come around this corner, you see Zinn lying on the ground, choking and sputtering, staring up at the ceiling, blood pooling uh, in a hole in his chest. Um, that's it, dude. Fucking Juto's pissed. You do not know where exactly the one who attacked him is, however. I think you can see him on the map, but he is technically behind the wall there, so you, you are not aware of where he is. So, how would you like to proceed? Okay, so if if I run up to Zit, will I see homie? Uh, I think my my player not like my player would run to Zin first. Your character, you are the player. Yeah, my character. Yeah. Sorry. Sure. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, a roll once you get there. He's just behind a curtain. How hard can he be to see? Yeah, I'm right. I mean, give me okay. a. I'm going to say a perception check. Oh. As you nice. as you get close to Zin and you're looking at him, um you notice a hole in the curtain in front of you, a tear. And behind that you see what looks to be something shifting. I mean, uh, can I just attack it? Yes, you may. Oh, uh, you're missing a line. Oh, you you've actually got to move forward because you can see through. You can see the curtain, but he's still behind the wall. You got to move uh, another space. Nope, that's a wall. He, he's here. I'll, I'll move him so you can see where the wall is. He's on this okay, side of the wall. Okay, I see the wall. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm standing. Well, you over could just push me here. My nasty, smelly cat balls over his face. While he's choking and gasping, nice. and I'm I'm fucking I'm scared, so I just send it send an attack. Jesus god. Christ, damn, bro! Oh my god! You haven't been wearing pants this whole time, or what? Well, we were sleeping. He's got a point. Yeah. Uh, is your fucking kitty balls flapping the breeze? You send a. Gross. Hard front kick straight into the curtain here. Oh, in uh, again, kind of a uh, metallic, uh, almost mechanical voice. And my kitty senses are gonna go flying the moment I make contact, so I'm gonna send it again. Okay, oh. Unfortunately, your foot gets wrapped up in the uh, in the curtain and missing him. Give me a dexterity save. Because you didn't say the line first. Damn, bro. Oh. It pulls you off your feet as uh, you you attempt to uh, unwrap your foot. You are prone, sir. 
If you wish to make uh, more attacks, you will be, if you wish to use your fl flurry of blows, I should say, they will be at disadvantage. I'm fucking pissed, dude. I don't give a shit. I'm sending it. How many more key That's points fun. you got, bro? You got to be running low by now. I got, I got some left. All right, send it. That hit. Nope. Unfortunately, uh, he just kind of steps over your foot that comes flying out from uh, flying underneath the curtain. And you are laying on top of Zinn, by the way. Hot. Kind of excited about that. Yeah, you feel his blood soaking into the fur on your back. And make your other flurry of blows attack. Yeah. Uh, yes, I love it. You hear uh, laughter on the other side. Unfortunately. As you once again miss. I'm going to do that really nasty, guttural cat groan. He laughs harder. <laughs> Foolish house cat. This is where you die. Is, uh, I'm guessing that's it for you, right? Yeah. He walks out around the, around the curtain, and he looks down at you. You can see a, um, a type of whip you've never seen before at his side. And he looks down at you. <laughs> oh, I forgot to move the other guy to where he should be. Five, ten. Going to hold an action where he is. Uh, yeah, now the, the... This creature comes around the corner, looks down at you, having advantage on his attack. Mama didn't raise no bitch. What's your AC? Don't worry about that, bro. Oh, I need to know what 17. your AC is. 17? Oh, that's a shame. Thought his 18. second attack was going to miss. How much HP you got? Actually, never Not mind. Don't, don't, say it. don't say it out loud. Give me a sec. I'll just move in for a second. Ouch. Not a lot. Yeah, no. Uh, as your your foot is, uh, you're trying to get you're scrambling to get your foot uncaught from this curtain. Um, as your uh, the nails on your your toes, feline claws are kind of hooked, which was your issue here. Fortunately, he looks down, laughing. <laughs> snap! <laughs> snap! As he whips you twice. First one sets you unconscious. Second one gives you a death saving fail, uh, death saving throw fail. Oh, yeah. We only As wanted Relira. Look what you've done. <laughs> Look at you and your ally. Your life. Is forfeit. Uh, sorry. There, he's gonna go there. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. No, he's gonna stop here at the door, or before the door. That one is dead. 
This one's going to roll a stealth. Ouch. Uh, Thoros, you may give me a perception, please. Wow, wow, I don't believe it. A low roll like that, and you notice him. He does not get his sneak attack. He pops out here, and he takes a shot at you. That is 26 to hit. Did you did you that skip hits. Thoros and Rolara's turns? No, they attacked. Am I crazy? Oh, it's just they're at a 7 and a 9, and the person that just went was a 12. On turn order wise. No, no, we're, we're, uh, Junta was the top of the turn order. Yeah, Junta's at 21. Yeah. And then this person's at 12, because it was just this guy's turn, right? What the fuck? Literally happened? just his turn. You see what I'm saying? Like it's not organized correctly again. Why did that happen? Am I crazy? No, you're not. It is, it is out of order. Yeah, because like he's a twelver, which means those are seven and nine, so they would go next. You see what I'm saying? No, I do. I'm wondering how the fuck that happened. Yeah, I don't know. Yay, I'm alive. No, you're still not alive. Because if that's how it is, that's the order it we've been go going in the whole time. Him, yeah. Yeah, he he would still be after you. Thoros, you did have your turn right before Junto, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think so. I don't recall that. Jesus Christ. I don't know how that happened. All right, so... I thought fuck. I attacked this guy up here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Like, you, you just attacked him. I thought that was two turns ago, and then something got mixed up when you added uh, Ray to the turn order. No, no, because no, because when you added Ray and I, it was it was always me. This this uh, the random archer guy, then the bad guy, right? And then it continued on. So like it, we were like Ray, myself, the two boss ish people were all in order previously. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this the the boss guy is out of order because he's right underneath me in the turn order. No, there so there there there's another guy in the turn order. You guys can't see because he's invisible. And uh, and he always went right after these uh, these other ones did. Oh shit! I shouldn't ping where he is. I think the only thing that's out of order, I think, is the thief lords. They actually should have gone before uh, the other two enemies. Yeah, because Relira went back in here because she couldn't use her her teleportation because it's a bonus action. Uh, this guy attacked Thoros. Or, yeah, and then Thoros attacked oh, him. Oh, Savage, you know what it is? When you skipped Junto, you might have moved him back up in the order in it because of that. Moved who back up in the order? Junto, because you skipped him, remember? But then you gave him his turn? Did you mess with the order after that? No. Okay. Alright, um... What I was thinking maybe. So, like, I, I'm, I'm dead certain Relira and Thoros had the turn, turns, so we're just going to keep going with the order we're at. I mean, the, the only difference is that this one, two of the Thief Lords actually go after, later than they should. So it's, it's not really making any kind of a difference. There's no, no uh, none of your allies are in between them. Uh, yes, yeah, so 26 to hit Thoros. Uh, 10 piercing, halved is 5. Gonna go back into the room. Uh, that one is dead. Ray, you are up. Okie dokie. Okay, if I climb over this body, it's um, double movement or whatever? Yep.
As you get outside the door, pause for a moment, please. There was a held action. From who? From this one who was invisible. He makes a shot at you. Um, advantage. Yep, that is a hit. Ray, as you step outside the door, an arrow slams into your side. You take 13 piercing damage. And that's at that spot there, as soon as you step outside the door. So knowing that this man is now here, uh, you have options. Where would you like to go? Or do? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to move Moonbeam just on the cusp of this guy. So that it's not blocking the door yet. Okay. All right. Give me your uh, damage and he will do a con save. He fails. He sees this coming, but uh, kind of slips on the rug and can't get out of the way in time. And as... This beam passes on to him. Uh, he starts to sizzle and, and scream. He is still alive, okay. however. Okay. I am going to use my bonus action, Healing Word, on Reliria, because I didn't see her. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to do it at level two. Okay. 13 hit points. And I that's it for me. Oh, is that a, is that all of your movement? Yeah, I only get 30 feet, right? Oh, yeah, I I wasn't keeping track of how far you wanted or how far you'd moved. I didn't think it was 30 feet, but Yeah, okay, I got you. Zin, you know the drill. Whisper me your death saving throw and uh, share a memory if you'd like. Okay. No memory on this one. Okay. <laughs> Why am I doing this, eh? Damn. Honestly, I thought this encounter was pretty balanced. Yeah, the group tends to roll over yeah, everything. You know the AoE 46 name. necrotic damage suggests otherwise, but yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know that you know what balanced means. Hey, hey. As soon as, pretty it, sure. as soon as that happened, you know, focus fire happened, he'd probably already be dead. He's not looking great as it is. It just, you know, just happens that it didn't work out that way. He just rolled. I, I just rolled fire, the honestly. Mage hiding around a corner with a melee attack. Is suspicious. Yeah, that seems sus. <laughs> it 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 is it, it is a melee attack. I'm sorry. It's that's the stat block. Which man. is very suspicious that he would do that instead of casting a spell. That's all I'm saying. 
Uh, Seems like I somebody mean, changed their mind last he, minute. He actually doesn't have. <laughs> uh, he doesn't ha technically have spells. They're technically innate abilities, and basically, it's uh, he's got the 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 blood lash, the whip, which is specified as a melee weapon attack, not a spell, uh, not a uh, melee spell attack. It's a melee weapon attack, and then he's got the blood boil, which I mean, I'm sorry, I just rolled really well on him getting it back. Um, but yeah, this master just suspicious is all, bro. I will show you the yeah, stat block after sucks. the fight. I'm just saying. No, about your decision. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I'll heal you for five. It's fine. Hell yeah. Ray is a ray of sunshine upon us all. That's actually her full name is Ray of Sunshine. Good guess. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. I I was like, hey, that's amazing. I don't know how you did that, but yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, just don't ask questions, okay? Master Thief is going to make three short sword attacks at you. Why? Where'd you... Dude, it says short sword or short bow attacks, but he doesn't have a short sword. Uh, in his thing. Uh, they both use decks, though, so... It's the same. It's... Yeah, it's short sword is the same as a short bow, so... Uh, 21 and 20, I believe, hit. The 10 does not. Uh, he does not get sneak attack on these. So, 8 and, uh, 8 piercing, 6 poison is 14. Halved is 7. 7 piercing and 1 poison is 8. Halved is 4. As he stabs you twice. That's not very nice. It's not. Hoop kick him to the face. Relira. All right, let's go. Um, what I can like see part of a blue being beyond the door. Can I see that person? And um, who is that? he is behind the wall, so no, you cannot. Uh, I'll move him. You can see that there's a wall there. Okay. Um. But you would have seen the arrow fly to the north, which means you know that there's somebody somewhere to the south. Okay. Um... Hmm. So as a heads up, um, your character might not know this right this moment, but if she was to peek around the corner, he is very close. If you shoot at him with your bow, it will be at disadvantage because he's too close. However... If once you kind of peek out and see him, if you want to roll your stealth and maybe you get lucky and he doesn't see you, you can always draw out a scimitar or or whatever melee weapon it is, and you will not uh, have disadvantage on the attack. So that is that's one of the He's uh, like mechanics. He's like pointing to let you know that there's a guy right there. Um, I all my sneak and then does attack, it cut I, across your throat? On my sneak attack, it says something like um. If the if another enemy of the target is within five feet of it, that enemy. One sec. Yeah. So, um, uh, what what it means is you could use a sneak attack without um, without having advantage because normally you have to have advantage to use your sneak attack. However, Ray is ten feet away from the the person, so there is nobody within five feet. So the only way you're going to get your advantage and be able to use your sneak attack is if you stealth. Okay. Now he's going to roll perception, which I doubt he's going to beat that. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Take your turn. That was your bonus action to hide. And you creep up. 
and you kind of just like peek your head, peek your eye around the corner. You see that he's uh, he doesn't seem to notice you, and he's close. So how that would work is if you want to pull out a scimitar, you already use your bonus action, but you, as a free action, you can drop your bow or just hold it in another hand, pull out one of your weapons as your object interaction, and then you get your attack with your sneak attack. Okay, so like, would I click on ra rapier or dagger? Uh, yes. Uh, your rapier is going to do more damage, so I would suggest you probably want to pull that one out. Okay. And then that would be your attack. So make sure you have it on uh, advantage. What's my piercer thing? Okay, so point benefits. Once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals piercing damage, which your rapier does piercing, uh, so does your bow, uh, you can reroll one of... So it, if you attack and you don't like the damage it does, you can reroll the attack, uh, but you must use the new roll. So, okay. So hit advantage and then hit your attack. Okay, so if you mouse over the 7, you can see that you rolled. It's not rolling it correctly. I don't think, right? Yeah, no, it's rolling 1. Why is it rolling 1 instead of rolling a d10 or a d8? On a second. Uh, Rapier does how much? Give me a second. Pretty All sure right. it's a D8. Yep, D8. All right, uh, do me a favor and, okay, so... 16 is what you rolled, and that one is correct. So, your damage. Reroll your damage, please. Does that mean click rapier again? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just take the damage from it. Okay, a 12. So, if you mouse over the 12, you can see that the number in brackets, it's a 6. So, on the D8, you rolled a 6. Um, then plus your dex, plus your plus 1 for the rapier. So that's actually a pretty good roll. You probably don't want to re-roll that. Okay. Um, you can add your sneak attack as well. How, how do I do that? Um, so normally you would click on, uh, check the box for sneak attack under global attack modifiers. But since you already rolled the attack, you just click the word sneak attack and it should uh, auto-roll it. If that doesn't work, click the numbers next to the word sneak attack in your attacks. Okay. Um, as you come around this corner, um, stepping out and immediately stabbing forth with your rapier, would you like to describe what happens to this, uh, this Shadow Fae? Do I kill him dead? Oh, yeah. You're, you're 12, did you didn't even need your sneak attack, but, you know, practice. Uh, um, wait, did I have to use the sneak attack then? Well, you didn't have to, but you only get one attack, so, I mean, why not set, go full send? Because that's a bonus, right? No. Uh, it, it's, it, it is a bonus, it's not a bonus action. It's just a bonus onto your, uh, onto your damage. Oh, okay. Your, your stealth, you, you rolling stealth to hide, that was your bonus action. Got it. So would you like to describe what it looks like as you stab him? Why don't you tell me, Blair? Sure. Savage. As, as you, uh, you step out, you immediately step forth and stab immediately in the gut and reef your sword upwards, slicing him navel to throat. Uh, his, his internal organs just start to spill out as he falls forward onto the floor at your feet. I guess I still got it. Uh, you do, do still have more movement. 
Uh, you can hear combat coming uh, from this room where Thoros is. Uh, you can definitely hear his uh, his uh, rages and and grunts of pain. Um, as for anybody else, you currently yourself are not aware of where anybody else is, other than Ray Thoros and one person that he's fighting. So you still have more movement. You can go back to hiding, or you can move out into the floor. That is up to you. Where did you say Theros is? That room. I'm going to go back to hiding. <laughs> fair, fair. And I'm done. Thoros. I'm going to keep swinging, but I think I'm going to go down swing. So here we go. He manages to dodge your attack, dipping underneath it. Arch. Okay. That's a hit. As he dips underneath it, you kind of twirl it sideways and, uh, and manage to dig it into, his, uh, into the collarbone area. You withdraw it, and you chop straight down. As you chop straight down, um, you you don't even withdraw your your sword from his collarbone. You just press it in further. You can feel his collarbone break as he screams out in pain. Um, you withdraw it and you try to hit him with the butt end again, uh, but he's kind of flailing from the pain and just definitely misses it. Um, your axe, however, goes ah, oh, good. You're learning. Not such a dummy after all. Before long, you won't even need me. Good job. And that is me. Junto, you are going to click uh, 2 GM and then roll me your death save. Do not give it away. And you may share a memory if you wish. Okay. So, uh, Junto is going to remember the time that Ralira slapped the shit out of him for looking at her mildly inappropriately one evening at the campfire before we got to Waterdeep. <laughs> Checks out. Holy shit! I'm dead. Fantastic. Does he look upon it fondly? <laughs> Or with embarrassment. Fondly. <laughs> I'm going fuck? for like a Kagome Inuyasha kind of vibe. Holy shit. I'm love dead. it. Love it. <laughs> Me too. This one steps out. Ray, you see him snap his whip in the air say to me minions and then you see a, a look of realization on his face um you can see he's also bleeding from a, a few spots uh seems to be kind of holding his ribs with one hand and through his his mask uh you can see what you believe might be his eyes almost widen as he looks south of you and sees all three of his allies dead. He shouts, Ralira, we will be back for you. And he is going to and 15. 
and he leaps out. Ray, you, uh, as, as he calls that out, you see him disappear back into that doorway. You know both Zin and Junto went in, the, in that area. So something must be wrong if he came walking out and then ran back in without any issues. This Thief Lord steps, uh, he's going to do a stealth check to hide. Ray, you can give me a perception, please. Actually, never mind. He is not going to uh, try and hide because he would have to reload his crossbow. That would be his bonus action. Uh, he steps out into here. 40 feet. So he gets disadvantage on you on this one, too. Uh, da, 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 da. Advantage and shoot. Wow. He rolled two 23s. Ray, a uh, bolt is fired at you. Um, you're unable to get out of the way in time. It does six piercing. He calls out, Anybody still alive? Or else the one in front of you uh, shouts, Not for long! And he that one disappears back around the corner. Ray, it is your turn. Oh, keto. Well, bruh, is he like out? Is he floating or like what? Did he jump out the window? He jumped out the window. And didn't take damage from that? Oh, he took some damage. Not nearly enough to do anything, though. Unless you've got an eighth level spell somehow. I'll be honest, you're not going to be able to kill him. But, you, but you do Junto... see... Yeah, you see Junto unconscious, laying on top of, on top of Zin. Uh, and you see between them there, it seems to be blood pouring out onto the ground, forming a pool. Which one it's coming from, however, you are not quite sure. Junto's also naked. <laughs> Love that for you. Okay, so technically I can see Thoros, I can see Junto, and I can see Zin. I can't really see Rolaria, but I can that a little bit. Um, You should not be able to see her. I just didn't have the dynamic lighting all the way past the post. Uh, but, okay, you, then... but you can see Thoros, and you can see the other two. Okay, so I am going to use my healing staff for five charges for mass cure wounds on all three of them, and also myself. All right. See mass cure wounds. Up to six creatures, yep. 16 HP for everybody except, I'm sorry, Relira. Zin, you awake having this uh, this large naked cat man laying on top of you. And he starts to be uh, starts to shift as well as, you know, uh, he, he begins to wake up. The uh, the master thief in front of Thoros. What? Impossible. Where are your wounds going? My awesome healer, thank you. Any bonus actions, Ray? Moving my moonbeam was an action, right? It is. Um, I'll also use healing word. Oh, no, I can't. Um, nope, that's it for me then. Actually, I'll move out of the way of the door, so if people want to get out. 
That's all for me. Okay. Zen, you have a large cat man on top of you. Yeah. Um, he's conscious now. He is. Is he able to let me stand up? Um, I'm sure he would allow you. So, I mean, you're going to have to kind of help him roll off of you. But yeah. What if I don't want him to get up yet? Oh, my God. Shut up. Um, well, that would be a contested uh, athletics or acrobatics. <laughs> snuggle struggle. We can snuggle <laughs> struggle Holy later, shit, sir. Fine. <laughs> I'm assuming he's going to let you up, though. I also have the power to let you die, so think wisely. Damn. Yeah. But it was so comfy. Uh, so half your movement to get up. Sorry, because I have 35, is that, how does that work for my move speed? Um, how do you have 35? I have 55. Level 6 traits from Ranger and Tasha's Cauldron. Oh, and it, it increases it by 5? I thought they normally yeah. go by 10. Okay. Um, For some reason, it's 5. I'm going to say yeah. that because you had somebody on top of you, it's going to use the 20 out of 35. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, so I have 15. So, 5, 10. Um, can I see him? Or is he, like, on the ground? Um, he, he's, he's on the ground, but, I mean, it wouldn't be hard to lean outside the window and see him. <laughs> I'm going to lean outside the window. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to shoot at him twice. Sure. Uh, oh. Well, you whispered that, but that is a hit. Forgot to remove that here. I'll put that to... Public. Okay. That's not good. But that is. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Let's see it. Okay. Uh huh. So now I'm going to. I have five more feet of movement, but I'm going to bonus action dash. Okay. And we're on the top floor, correct? Uh-huh. I'm going to go out the window. That's five, right? Uh, so do you, I'm, if, uh, like, oh yeah, you've got boots of flying or something, right? I do, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use the boots of flying to go up on top of the roof here and okay. hide out of his line of sight. Mm-hmm. But you can't see me, so. Okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, however far on the roof you're going, uh, move yourself in back into the room that far, and then we'll just keep note that you are, uh, depending wh where it is, uh, would increase the height. So it, will, it would be 10 feet to the edge of the roof, and then, so from there, uh, 10 feet to the top of the roof, and then... Going up is going to increase your height uh, each five feet by, let's say, each five feet is going to increase by five. So if you okay. if you so run ten feet I in, you'll be, go you'll be you'll be twenty feet high. Back ten. Yeah. Here, and that's twenty feet above above where I was before. So I'm like what forty feet in the air, roughly now. So so ten feet from the window to the roof. And then if you yep. move 10 feet in, you are an extra 10 feet above, like, the ground in here. So you would be at 20 feet yeah. high. Yeah, 20 feet high from here, but he's on the ground outside. Yes. So I'm 40 feet above him, hidden by a rooftop. Yes. Thank you. That's what I was trying to figure out, because I think that's confusing now. <laughs> oh, uh, mm, yeah, I don't think you'd be hidden from the rooftop, um, because, like, the, the center point would be where the, the, the peak is, right? So if he goes okay, out, so, if he goes out farther, he will still be able to see you. Like, yeah, but can, can I get out. over to the the other side of the tip? Because I have from from outside, I have thirty five feet of movement because I just dashed. Okay, right? yeah. 
So if I go 10 feet up. Yeah, that leaves you 25 then, feet. Yeah, 25 feet. So I go 25 feet. Can I make it just over just the peak? Does that make you sense? You would be 10 I feet don't... shy of the peak. Okay. Because the middle. But he'd still be able to see me? Um, Not from the well, position no, he's at now. But yeah. if he moves out, yes, he is going to be able to see you. Also, um, does he have dark vision because it's nighttime? That's oh, yes. Thing too. Yes, he does. Um, okay, other question here. So that, that, but that would put me how high up then if I'd use all 35? Okay, so 10 to go up and then 25 uh, inwards? Yeah. So 25 yeah. inwards, I would put you at uh, an extra five feet. Uh, so let's see. Five times five, 25 feet uh, above. So 35 feet high? Yeah. Above this, which is 20 feet above the floor? Yep. So 55 feet above him. He'd have to go out really far to see me then. From uh, that angle. And there's yes. a building on that side too. Yes, there so is. So there's no way. Yeah, there's no way he's going to be able to see me then. Because And going on at 45 makes it even harder. So I'm going to stay there. So that's whatever. So I guess I'm back. 5, 10, 15, 25 feet. So I'm like right here on the roof. Yeah, so you, you're, you're literally like five feet from the peak. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay. Right. That's my turn. Hell yeah. Boros. God damn. Um, yeah, pretty sure your AC is over 15, right? Yep, 16. Staggering from these last blows you've given him, he, uh... <laughs> he keeps trying to stab you, and, and it's it's weak. He, it, it's like a child stri trying to stab a, a seasoned fighter. And you just kind of, like, bat your, uh, the, the handle of your, um your halberd back and forth as he tries to stab and he completely misses them all. Uh, he's going to use a bonus action to disengage, which I believe you might have something that stops I that. Do. Yeah. So he gets to here as he heads towards the window. You can make your attack of opportunity. Damn. And no more charges. So that's that. He, uh, all right, so 510, he gets to the window, object interaction to open it. Actually, he's not even going to open it. He's going to dive through this bitch. Uh, there is a hay bale down here um, where they stable horses, or not stable horses, but tie the horses up. So he leaps out the window, landing in the hay, uh, which is not going to negate all of the damage. You know what? I want you to roll this for me, Thoros. I want... Um, I'm going to say 1d6 for the uh, damage of going through the window. Okay, 3. And he is 20 feet up, so give me 4d6, which we're going to cut in half. And uh, So 5 and 3 is 8. Uh, he lands in the hay bales outside. And you hear him rustling around, trying to uh, get out. Ralira, you are up. You hear a window crash uh, from one of the northern bedrooms. And I'm under the impression and understanding that there's nobody alive in this hallway anymore. Not that you know of. If you are talking, we can't hear you. If you're thinking, that's fine, too. I'm thinking. I'll get faster, I promise. No worries. 
Julian's been in uh, my other game for six months, and now and then it still takes him two minutes to decide what he's doing. Burn. If you have to say burn, I don't know if that counts. What what sound did I hear coming from where? If you're talking, we can't hear you. Yeah, I can't hear you, Savage. I think uh, your Discord thingy is going off. Nope, sorry, I was AFK. I had my headphones on, I could hear you, but I left my mouse where I was, or at my desk, so. Oh, okay, um, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, I, I just thought, thought it was the Discord thing issue that you have. No, I, I, I thought I had more time. <laughs> um, you heard a window crash from one of the more northern bedrooms. And do I see this? I can see this guy here. The green guy towards the top of what I see. Uh, oh, shit. I did not put him nearly far enough in. I thought I put him in far enough. He was around the corner. Yeah, uh, I guess so. As you step around the corner, you do see a glimpse of uh, somebody's arm sticking out from from the doorway. How uh, how's he looking? Um, I mean, oh, wait, I... you can only see his arm, so you can't really tell. Uh, but it doesn't look like he's taken any damage on that arm, at the very least. And I'm sorry, how far do arrows shoot? So if you go to your short bow and you mouse over it, a little gear should pop up. If you hit the gear it will give you the range. Um, and the first number means uh, anything past that will have disadvantage. Anything, And then when it, uh, at the distance of the second number, um, it means that's Sorry, impossible. Sorry, I wasn't trying to press it. I was trying to, what were you, you're saying how I can see it? Yeah, so if you mouse over it, a little gear will pop up on the right side. Yes, okay. okay hit the gear and it'll open it up and it will tell you uh, there'll be range there. What are the numbers? Okay, so I see 80 over 320. Okay, so 80 is a means that you can shoot at somebody up to 80 feet away without disadvantage. Anything between uh between 80 and you said what, 120? 320. And anything between uh 80 and 320 means disadvantage. 320 and on means it is impossible. Got it. One sec. Um, I want to do a, the sneak attack. Okay. Uh, give me your stealth. Is someone is something happening? Mm, did you click on stealth? 
Uh, I did. I will try. Yeah, she rolled a she rolled a twenty two slash twenty five. Oh, I don't know if she had advantage. Didn't or not. even see that. My bad. Um. Yeah, you got a twenty two. Step out. You will have advantage if you shoot at him. However, he is also behind partial cover. Uh, at that point, I'm going to give him a three quarters since basically his one arm stick out. You may make your attack at advantage. Okay, and this three-quarter cover. That is still a hit. Okay. God damn. Fucking scent. You put an arrow straight through his wrist. He drops his hand crossbow. You have uh, more movement, I believe. Uh, I don't think I do. I, I moved further so I could see him better. Although I don't know if that helps. <laughs> uh, I think you only moved 15 feet. Oh, okay. You were here, uh -huh. right? Yes. Yeah. 5, 10, 15. Got it. Okay. You don't have to move any further if you don't want to. Or you can even dip back into the room. It's up to you. Yeah, I guess I'll dip back. Okay. Thoros, you are up. Sec of. I will give you a sec of. Okay, how about now? Better? You're a new Relira. You don't have to apologize for taking too long. Yeah, definitely not. Ten more sessions, maybe. You know, then we'll talk, but <laughs> you're good. So I don't see anything alive in the hallway. But I remember this little prick up north shooting at me. Uh-huh. So I'm going to go up that way. All right. He's cradling his arm, and as you walk in, he just slowly looks up, horror spreading across his face. No, no, no. Please, it, it was just a job. Go ahead. Do your thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Yup. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's hear your war cry. Oh my god, if this hits, bro, describe it. You you you're you're he had 1 HP left when you went to hit him with the oh, uh, nice. butt. Yeah. Uh Thoros just goes to town on him, packing, slashing, swinging, covering him blows and finally Driving the butt of his spear into his throat as he falls to the ground. 
Yeah, with with your your rage, your your biceps pulse, the the veins bulging, as you put your your hand on the very top of your halberd, uh, of the the pole. Sorry, not not the blade, and you grip the pole and you slam it in. You you feel it crunch the spine and go straight out the back and slam the wall. For a moment, he sits there, gurgling and choking, um, being held up simply by your strength with the halberd. And as you withdraw it, he slides to the ground, a couple more gurgles, and his head lolls to the side. I think I've got two more movement. Two, and that's me. South Shore. So everybody's fighting the other room. Um. Well, it, it, everything seems to have gone silent. Uh, in the other room, you you heard the the glass crash. You heard Thoros who's uh slamming against the uh the wooden floor. And give me a perception. Let's see if you heard the uh the final blow there. Uh, I don't think you have disadvantage, so 16. Yeah, yeah. You you heard uh, a heavy blow land, like, you you could feel it reverberating through the floor. And then you hear hooves once again, um, coming slightly in your direction. So we're not in combat. Yes, there are still enemies, but, um, you were alive to see the, uh, Oh, no, you were not alive to see the other one leap out the window, I think. No. Um, you would have seen Zinn um, head towards the window, however, and go outside. All right. So now, do I see Buddy down there? Yep. You see him start to head up the alley. Can I just, like, fucking send it on him? Um, he is 20 feet below you, so. How, I have, how do you um, do it? I have slow fall. Okay. As a reaction, so you're going to leap out the window and, uh, what is it, a feather token? Um. Or is it just a monk ability? It's just a monk ability. Can you post for me? Use your reaction when you fall to reduce any falling damage you take by an amount equal to five times your monk level. Okay, sure. You leap out the window, and your descent is slowed just enough. Um, so at 20 feet, it's 4d6. You're an idiot. So like 40 damage, so like he can't take damage then, right? Yeah, no, you're not taking any damage. <laughs> yeah, that's what I fucking thought for this, homie. That's a sick ability. You I'm you fucking you uh, land right behind him as he's starting to try and run away. So is do I have advantage then since he's turned around? No. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to hit him with the kitty cat claws. Okay. Oh, I'm out of iced coffee. Sad day. Yeah. Um, can I please vote to add a hiss to our soundboard? Well then like I cat hiss. Then, then I gotta remove some some shit from my my soundboard, which I'm debating on removing a couple of them. But well, we'll, we'll get see. Get rid of Timmy, yeah. No, Tim. yeah, get rid of Timmy. No, Timmy's staying. But yeah, that's a hit. Second attack. The wolf can go. Oh, you're not summoning wolves anymore? No, I just thought of that. Don't don't get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a hit. I take it back. I take I'm in a stunning strike. That's a con save? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's an 18. He succeeds. I'm sorry, what'd you say? That is an 18. He succeeds. Okay. Then, uh, Flurry of Blows. Which I believe that should be the end of your key points, yes? I got one more. 
Okay. Gloria blows it. It's a miss. That's a hit. He is looking very weak as he stumbles a bit. Is that it for you? Um, wait, am I able to stunning strike on that? You can try. Cool. Oops, sorry. That's uh oh yeah, no, he succeeds. Rip. All right, boys. I did boys and girls, I did my best. It was a great effort. It was a great effort. It was valiant. And this is gonna be bad because you no longer have a reaction because you just used it, so you're not gonna be able to attack him with an attack of opportunity. Um. He was pretty close, huh? Five. He's going to get to here. He spins on you. 17 con save, please. Rip. 52 necrotic. I'm unconscious, boys and girls. Ray, you are up. Okie dokie. Dang it, I can't see anything. Okay, is it actually a wall here? Or, like, there's a building? What am I looking at? Uh, you were looking outside of a window. And this is a building, yes. Okay, which way did that guy go? Uh, you do not know. There are shutters in your way. But as you look down, you can see Junto. Yeah, yeah. What if I peek my head out the window? Can I see where the guy went? Unless you are stepping outside the window, the shutters are in your way. If you zoom in, you can see that there are shutters there, and they stick out a uh, good two, three feet. But if I step out, will I fall out? Yeah. <laughs> can I somehow give her my immovable rod to stand on? Unfortunately, no. No, you are far too far away to hand something off. Okay, um, Dumb and Dumber over here. I'm going to mask your wounds him. Or not mask your wounds, I'm going to healing word. So you're going to stand on the window and healing word him? Well, can't I just, like, look outside and see him on the ground? Well, yeah. I poke my head out and look down? Yeah, but you move back. That's why I'm asking. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay, there. Okay. You use your healing word. However, it does not work. Why? Necrotic. Because you cannot gain uh, hit points again until the uh, it's start or end of this creature's turn. It is the until the end of this creature's turn. He remains unconscious. So you do burn the spell slot, but unfortunately it does not work. Okay, that's my turn then. Zen. Um, it, I can only see what I see inside, so I can't see things right now. Uh, yeah, from, from your angle, you, uh, you're not going to be able to see him. You're going to have to move to the edge to be able to see him anyway. 
Okay. Uh, did I hear what direction he was going? Give me a perception. Sorry, one sec. 20. Sounds like he's running north. So like the this ish direction? Yep. All right. Five. Oh, door. Ten. I can't go through the... Can you pull me through to... Yeah, 15, 20, and then just right there so I can see it. 25. Oh, so he's he's like just below me now. Advantage. Uh, and I'm going to Hunter's Mark before I do that, though. Okay. With my bonus. Uh, uh, one sec, let me just mark it off. And fire. Ooh. Uh, it's an advantage, so you get another d20 oh, on that. Ha-ha. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hit. Better. Uh, oh, Hunter's Mark's not in there. Sorry. There you go. First attack. Hit. AZ. Yeah. Good news or bad news? Uh, let's start with the bad news. There's no bad news. You want to describe it? Hey. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my God! Did he do it? Yeah. As this guy's like, kind of like he, because he's he's a mage, right? Um, in a manner of speaking, yes. Yeah, but he's like, like a cloak and stuff. Uh, d- d- uh, I think so. Give me a sec. Uh, yes, yes, he does. Okay. So as he's like kind of like trying to hustle away and he's kind of like stomping because I can hear him pretty clearly. And his cloak's billowing. I just like shoot him in the back twice and he kind of falls forward with the hands out to the side and his cloak falls over where his face would be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think that's where we're going to end combat because no, uh, the Master Thief is next and he's just going to dash away and nobody's, nobody's close enough that they're going to be able to find him before he gets out of... Uh, out of range and running in between buildings and shit. So only one got away. Damn. You guys want to see that ability, by the way, that he's been using? The blood boil craziness. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, can I healing word now? You can. And we are out of combat. So, like I said, I don't like the whole creature dies if reduced to zero, which is why I'm going with the you just can't regain hit points until the next turn. I modified that on the fly. When I put yeah, this... Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. That's fair. I, I, I don't like that. Because otherwise, no. Necrotic is so OP until you're, like, super high level. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, oh, I just... All the damage I took, because that's all he does is Necrotic, I'm instantly dead if I yeah. hit zero. Right? Exactly. That's wild. Yeah, the, so I, I get why you would change that because then yeah. you can't really use necrotic people against like lower level characters until like yeah. Like, and every 14, time I 15. used it, I was rolling fucking fire. <laughs> it was yeah, bad, dude. Yeah. It was so bad. Pretty wild. I was like forty six damage AOE. But yeah, at this point, Where's we are going to take our uh, our ten minute break. Uh, so Z and Snow can get their pizza. Everybody can go to the bathroom, get a drink. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get some more Klua. So we'll be back in 10 minutes, everybody. No. Okay, BRB. At least physically here. Mentally and emotionally. <laughs> I, I scared you with that one, did I? Oh, yeah. Now, that, that, that's typically how I, I, I run encounters. Uh, I mean, anything I homebrew, it's going to be deadly. So, you know... It, it, I, I try and make it extremely challenging. So, like, uh, I mean, you, you're still new, so you, that's why I'm kind of trying to guide you through, like, you know, how to use your character with tactics and shit, like, you know, duck into cover and pop out to shoot kind of thing. Um, whereas, yeah. like, yeah, like, most of the... Once you guys get into the, the stuff that's already made, like, by the campaign, uh, a lot of that is, is a cakewalk. I mean, I think on... They, they've gone through three levels so far of the the dungeon and there's what usually one challenging encounter on each floor so far most of the shit they steamroll over like it, it it's nothing 
but i see so you just hate us no no i i I don't find a game fun unless it's challenging if you steamroll everything i don't know even as a player i find it's just boring nah we opaf a little bit I'm, i'm not gonna lie but anyways we will get into it so as uh the Who's con- happy that she's firing shots already? <laughs> right? I mean that 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 last sneak attack that that did some fucking damage. Oh, I was talking about the verbal shots. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's one of us now. So as uh, combat subsides, um, Zin, as as you're sitting on the edge there, um, looking down at the uh, the dead humanoid like creature uh, that was running away, you. Catch something out of your eye catches uh, down to the left. And you notice Junto is once again unconscious. Oh, Ray, you healed him, didn't you? Uh, Junto seems yes, to just be waking up like he's coming out of a cat nap. <laughs> okay. Um, since I can see that he's actually alive, uh, I'll float down um to check this guy see if he's got items of course but more also more importantly does he have any letters or notes or correspondence between him and somebody else give me investigation sorry not advantage doesn't matter they're both terrible um you find a pouch, um, a little little satchel, um, about his waist. As you kind of pick through it, um, <clears throat> you don't find anything of significance at first. And as you run your hand along one seam, you manage to find uh, it's. It seems to be sealed with something you have never encountered before. And as you try to pull it open, it made that <laughs> sound. Um, player knowledge, this is basically Velcro. And as awesome. you pull it open, uh, you do, in fact, find a letter. Awesome. So I'll grab the small pouch and the letter. I'll head back over to Junto. <clears throat> Junto, you got like you got nine up. HP by the way. Still says zero. Ow. As in you you go and nice. you, you help Junto up. <laughs> um, you can see he's he's still quite injured. Uh, he's not looking great, but at least he's conscious. I'll help take him inside. Uh, we'll probably have to go around the front because I don't think I can fly him up with my boots. It's probably too heavy, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I'll, him and I will walk around front together. Okay. Uh, as you guys head towards the front, uh, Thoros, two, um, two more scantily clad women um, come out of the uh, out of that doorway. And they're they're in tears. Is it over? They killed. No, it's it... not. Go back inside. <laughs> you can see them bawling, and all they got at was they killed, and the 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 door shuts. <laughs> All right, Thoris will go check, because I think I'm missing a plot point. I mean, I was going to say, a big bull tells you tells you it's not over. You're running into the room as fast as you can. Right. Nope, still killing. Uh, you, uh, you open the door, and the two, um, quite obviously, ladies of the night are kneeling over a another woman on the floor. They're, they're sobbing. Um, her throat's been slashed wide open. Yeah. What the fuck? That was so the wrong time for that. <laughs> Jesus. 
Um, they're sobbing over this dead body with its her her throat slashed wide open. Um, as you open the door, uh, they kind of snap around and and they kind of try to scurry backwards, and they they manage to end up slipping in the pool of blood around their their friend as they scurry backwards. Who's your friend? Uh, 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 they stammer as the DM tries to think of a fucking whore's name. Um. Oh, this ought to be Andy. I sent you a TikTok on it, Savage. Yeah, but I don't fucking remember now. That was, that was like a... Go to ago. Ikea's website. Oh, right. right. Ikea. I mean, you could do like Kaylee, <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Bro, this is fantasy time. They didn't, they didn't have Boring. that kind of shit. Come on. You know what? Let's let's name her after a bed or a mattress. That seems fitting. A mattress seems fitting for sure. <laughs> Holy shit! That's great. <laughs> her name was Slatum. Damn. I'm sorry for your loss. Who killed her? Uh, what? One of the ones who came in the window. Are they still here? Which way did they go? They 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 went out there, pointing towards uh the the area behind you. Uh, you I believe you are aware that one of them came out of that room. In fact, I think it was the last there. one you killed. Oh okay. Well, that's right. It was. Well, the fight's over now. Yeah, I'll leave you to warn your friend. Yeah, you <laughs> you just walk away, leave the door wide open, and you can hear their sobs in the hallway. She was such a good earner. Yikes. Welcome to the game, Rolera. <laughs> So, Thoros is going to go over and check on her lyrics since that was apparently the whole reason they were here. At least one group. Can I go loot this dude's body? Uh, is it, what, this one here? Yeah. Then already checked it. Jun, uh... Zinn and Junto, you guys were heading back in the front door, right? Yeah, yeah, we're heading in the front door. Okay, so well, like, I don't know. Is like the inn open? Is someone still down there? Oh, it's Junto it's... wakes to be in Zinn's arms as they look each other in the eyes as Zinn carries him through the front door. I kiss his cheek <laughs> over the threshold. Some may say, <laughs> "Listen, this isn't a BL manga, okay?" Um, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> but it's going to take you guys a couple <laughs> to minutes uh, to get around yeah, yeah. the front. So we're we're going to focus on these three for the moment, and then we'll snap to you two. Totally. So Thoros, uh, you head over to Relira. She's looking still pretty messed up. She got uh she she's definitely got um like blood blisters all over the place. Um, I'll wave Ray over and ask if Ray can help. Don't I have more yeah. health than most people right now? Um, I mean, your max oh, health, no, yes. I don't. Yeah, your, your max health, yes. Uh, the what you're at right now, no. Um, Ray is going to wait for the two boys to come back. Ah, uh, good plan. Um, and when they do, I, I'm going to use Aura Vitality. Okay, well, in that case, uh, we will flash to the other two as they enter the main floor. Give me a moment. Wrong map. There you go. I've never been so happy to be in a bar. Ah, just wait. You're an alcoholic. <laughs> It'll be great. 
Uh, just it just gotta live through a more uh, near a few more near death experiences. You you want to be in the bar all the time, like, covered in blood and shit, going to the bar. Yeah, as you guys walk in, right. um, mm. there's not many people left. There's although the map shows a lot, there's only a couple left. And Dernan, Dernan's standing behind the bar, and he looks up at you two. What the hell happened? What's going on up there? Uh, Zin will kind of like put his hand to uh, calm him down and, and he'll walk over, but he won't like say anything because there are still a couple people in the bar and like come right up close to Dernan. <laughs> and he'll like kind of whisper to Dernan uh, that uh, this seems they were attacked in the middle of the night. Um, and there's a bunch of there's a big old mess on <laughs> on the top floor. And uh, Zin and Junto snagged one outside as well. Uh, it it seems they are probably coming after us uh, because they wanted something. He's sit- trying to keep it a little hush hush because you know. Well, I mean, another fight tonight. He has to <laughs> call the case. guards. I know he does. I know he does. That's but fine. but he he's standing there and yawning in his uh, nightcap and and sleeping down. And as soon as you mention there's a mess upstairs, he just like instantly wakes up. I'm sorry, what? A mess in the middle of the night. Don't suppose it's easy, easily cleanable. No, no. There's, uh, I want to say, uh, like seven, maybe eight bodies up there. Bodies? Maybe a couple more. Yeah, I told you we got attacked in the middle of the night. Thought y'all was just getting a little bit too rambunctious. No, we were trying to go to sleep. Somebody told us no. Oh, nine fucking hells. All right. Uh, you might want to get a little cleaned up before the guards get here. I've got to go alert them. Yes, that that's a good idea. We'll head upstairs right away. Dernan, you, Dernan. Dernan starts to head out into the street. Um, pretty soon you can start to hear a loud bell ring outside his establishment. Uh, you two head yeah. back upstairs. Yeah, we'll hustle. We'll hustle up. I'll um, we'll get healed, and then I'll get try to get us cleaned up as quick as possible. Type deal, you know, washing well, off the blood and all that. Well, At least we don't have that. our armor on, and then I'll put my armor on after if I have time. While they're doing that, I'm gonna start searching bodies. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm gonna and... help look through the bodies. Sure. You need to clean up, Junto. You have blood in your fur, sir. But money. You come with me. You get no choice. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that twice. Yeah, as as Ray sees you guys start to head up the stairs, she pops her aura of vitality. So that is Oh my god, what is happening? 40 D6 based on her rules, right? Because yep. she can use action bonus action. Yeah. Roll them. Are are you clicking on your aura vitality in your attacks or your spell book? <laughs> in my spell book, and then that, it just keeps that, that's, posting that's that's why. That's why. Because you would have to roll it from your uh, basically your tax area to roll the heal, and if it's not there, then you just got to do it manually. So whenever you click it in your spell book, it's just gonna post the spell. All right. So okay, a total so a of. of yeah, that is a lot of ones. A uh, total of 126. Okay, do me last. Okay. Whoever needs it the most first. Well, uh, Relira, actually in order, the most hurt is Jinto, Relira, Zin, um, Thoros, and then you. I don't think it's enough to heal everybody all the way. Um... Uh, what if we all take 30 because 30 would help me out a lot I'd still be scraped and stuff but I wouldn't be dying I don't know how much that would help you guys out I'm searching okay. anyway so if y'all want to split up the Rex 126 I'll just search yeah but aren't you hurt too yeah not bad I'm okay yeah, he, he okay. says not bad as he kind of turns around and, like, you know, he's leaving a trail of blood across the floor as he goes towards bodies. It's relative. That adrenaline. Oh. I don't know, 30 puts me in a pretty good spot, to be honest. So. 
All right, so Zin's taking 30. Junto, how much yeah, are you I'll taking? Um, <laughs> I'll take 30. Rilera? 30, she says, not knowing what's happening. All right, so you each get... Uh, Health you're gaining. The, the three of you get 30 HP back, and that leaves uh, 36 left. You want to break? I only need to take 26. You can take 26, I'll take 10. And then I'm full. Thoros is still, like, bleeding. <laughs> Everybody's still got a little, some bumps and scrapes, a little injured, but nobody looks like they're on death's doorstep. Definitely okay, looks... I'll do it one more time. Oh. Thoros took the 36, right? No, he took 10. Ray took uh, 26. Yeah, Ray, Ray is now full. She She's looking pristine, other than she, the blood she's covered in. 135. Everybody is full. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that, that puts everybody to full. All right. I look fucking brand spanking new. Thanks, bro. If I remember, yeah, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we're going to have to go back to bed. <laughs> Not going to lie. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Junto's helping. Or Junto, do you want to do your own searches while he does his own? No, he's... He's washing up. I'm forcing him oh, to wash right. up because he's got <laughs> fur all over him and he's soaked in blood. Prime target right there. I think I'd probably want to be looking for any clues of what the hell was going on and how all these people know me. I'll I'll pop over to, to her real quickly and say, hey, I found a letter. Maybe you can look at that while we kind of make ourselves a little more presentable. Because it might be for related to her. Thank you. Oh, apparently Ray is also going to take bathtub. a bath. All right. All right. Each of you go to take a, a bath. Um, the water quickly turns red. Um, whether it's, you know, whether it's your blood or an enemy's blood, it, the water turns red very quickly. Thoros, I'm going to say just give me four investigations. Oof. Give me two D one hundreds. You find about um fourteen gold and fifty five silver. I mean they're thieves, they don't want to make a lot of sound and jingling coins make sound. Fair point. So unfortunately you do not find much. Um but Valera, you open this letter. Uh, it is written in, um, Shatterkai. It states, Find her and bring her to me. We will need to know everything she knows of the Shadow Queen and her forces. We are to win the coming war. Signed, X. Cool, cool. Can I look and see if there's information or uh maybe I guess that's all the information there would be. Mm -hmm. Give me a history or an I'm going to say history at advantage or or arcana straight roll your choice okay cool Do 
The only thing you know is that uh, there are certain entities, uh, mainly Orcus and I want to say Shar, um, that wants to remove the Shadow Queen from power. That's about all you can gleam. You have no idea who X is. Uh, you don't even know exactly what information that they're after. Cool. Boros, as you're finishing searching the last of the body, or last of the bodies, where's my guards? And where's Dernan? Dernan comes up still in his uh, nightgown and nightcap kind of comes around the corner and he just freezes as the guards also follow him up and as they get to the top each one of them stops and just stares at the bloody mess looking north uh they can see valira as uh, she pockets a letter and thoros as he's finishing up searching the last of the bodies <laughs> oh my gods the mess the mess dernan shouts to be fair, they started it. The guards are just in shock. Uh, seeing th seeing you stand up and turn around and, and say uh, they started it. They both, like, they, they don't lower their weapons, you know, or raise them, per se. But you can see them grip them much tighter. Uh, but, what went on here? They attacked us. But, tried to kill us and tried to kidnap Valera. Jordan says, oh, oh no, the mess, the mess. Uh, wait, where is it just the two of you? Where, where's no, the no. others? Uh, putting their clothes on. We were attacked while we were asleep. Are you guys, uh, you know, splashing around in the tubs trying to like get yourselves clean? I was like quick, like more like a uh, slut bath. For lack of a better term, if that makes sense. <laughs> I believe it's called a whore's bath, but okay. <laughs> I'm either yeah, way, it, it doesn't sound great. Douching in the I sink. got like, you know, congealed blood and shit in my fur. It's going to take me a minute. Yeah, he's going to take a bit, but like, I'm going to, I can be fairly quick. <clears throat> you know, new change I'm of like clothes. I'm like soaking. I'm like enjoying the bath. We got some bubbles. Just like red bubbles. <laughs> it's fine. Bubbles are bubbles, man. Junto sitting there scrubbing his fur. Splish splash, I was taking a bath all on a Saturday night. Nice. <laughs> um, but uh, with Junto being close, uh, since he's scrubbing his fur out and whatnot, they can they can hear it. And one of them comes around the corner. Uh, I, I'm I'm figuring you guys are like you know closing the curtains and shit. Um, yeah, yeah. Says ah. Uh, Y'all are in here who took part in this fight. We need you to come out. We we have some questions. And then you hear the footsteps recede again. As uh one of them goes to inspect a couple of the bodies. Uh they kind of they they take a look and like, okay, this this one here's an elf. Uh one of them pulls Dernan aside into one of the rooms. And uh, Valera, you're you're somewhat close. You can do a perception if you wish. Twenty-four. Uh, you hear the guard whispering to Dernan. 
um, what you hear as these two are kind of investigating the bodies and taking a look at them. And I'm assuming Ray dropped her uh, moonbeam. I'll delete that. Uh, you can hear... How well do you know these yeah, travelers, Yeah, the only Dernan? thing I'm concentrating on is soaking in the tub. How well do you know these travelers? Uh, and Relier, you can hear him say, well, the two in the hallway, I, I don't know. Uh, they've just kind of recent. Uh, but the other three, they've, they've been nothing but good guests. No, no, no real problems. So, they say that they didn't start this. Would you take their word for it? Dernan says, I probably. Uh, the one made a little absent-minded mistake and pulled out a large bag of gold in the, uh, in the main uh, tavern earlier. More than likely, some of these were patrons who gave their bosses a, a whisper or something, and of course they came to take it. Yeah, all right, all right. Very well. Uh, him and Dernan exit the room again. And uh, the one with Dernan kind of uh, gets... Uh, heads towards Thoros, although he tries to give Thoros uh, as wide of a berth as he can. And kind of goes around to inspect the bodies. Says, uh, is there any more than what we can see here? There's a woman in the northwest room that was also killed. We didn't kill her. Uh, as much as I hate to say it, Savage, if you're rolling anything for me, remember my wonderful gift. Yep, yep. So, I mean, it's not really going to take, uh, you know what, uh, I would, I would say that, yeah, the saying you didn't kill a certain one might take persuasion. So, what is your thing again? Yeah. Uh, Kind of nods. All right. And he goes up to the room, and uh, he, as he approaches, he can hear them sobbing. He takes a look in. Who, uh, who's that on the ground? And uh, the, one of them turns around crying. That's, that's Slatum. He kind of like, he holds back a chuckle. <clears throat> uh, yes, okay. Uh. Why don't uh, why don't we find you some other lodgings for the night? We will uh, we'll figure something out. And they both kind of follow him out of the room, and uh, he goes to escort him to a different tavern. So they're going to disappear. The other two, uh, kind of looking, says uh, as they kind of inspect, and one of them even pulls out a wanted poster. As he starts looking. Huh. Well. Congratulations. Uh, he hands you the poster. And says. Uh, well what is your name? Large one. Girls. He writes it down. Uh, stop by, uh, <clears throat> um, DM, I don't know where to tell you to stop by, but he, he tells you to stop by somewhere tomorrow. Uh, you'll be able to collect reward. Two of these men are fairly well wanted. <clears throat> you'll get a reward. Oh, thanks. Um, so they have asked you guys to step out as quick as you can, uh, from the bath. Uh, who is stepping out? Oh, I would be right away. I'd just try to finish up as quick as I could and then get out. Okay. Ray will, like, reluctantly come out. She's dressed, but she's, like, rubbing a towel through her hair, like, yawning as if she's ready for bed. Here's a chance to make it awkward, Jinto. <laughs> I'll come out naked. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Swinging in the breeze. 
Yeah, um, following Zin out, um, uh, a couple of the guards look and, at you, Zin. Weren't you accused of something not long ago? Do I recognize them? You recognize uh, one of them. He was, uh, he was not uh, the one who who struck at you and missed and hit a civvy. He, but he is one of the ones that charged up into the room and, you know, circle beat you. Hello? Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> I would, I'll look at him and, and I'll smile. I was like, if you recall correctly... I was acquitted, and those who mistreated me, I believe, got a bit of a punishment afterwards. Uh, weren't you one of those, in fact? Um, he went. He goes from like a suspicious look to a. <clears throat> um, anyways, uh, do you mind giving me your account of the events? And at this point, Junto comes walking out around the corner. Um, parts furry parts swinging in the breeze. Uh, sir, if if you could please um, maybe go put some pants on and come back out. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were in a rush, you see. Uh, well, n not enough of a rush that you can't put on some pants. Okay, well, if you insist, then sure. Well, Dernan looks to one of the guards. He says, so is it fine if I go find somebody to help me clean this up? Uh, the guard says, well, we'll send somebody to pick up the bodies, take them to the morgue. <sighs> Very um, well. Zinn will look at Dernan right before he goes and just be like, um, get as many as you need to help clean up. Let us know what the, the cost is. We'll cover you for the inconvenience. Can you do my room first? Because, like, I need to sleep. Uh not gonna lie, this, uh, it's gonna take a little time. You'll be lucky to get a mortis- or a, um, um, fuck, what's he called? Corner. Be lucky to get, a uh, body collector out by, you know, before dawn. Perhaps you have some other rooms we can, uh, rent for the night as well? Yeah. I like my room the way it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's next to no blood in Thoros' room, isn't it? Isn't this one Thoros's? Can we all go oh, to right. sleep and deal know. with this in the morning? I think that was mine. I was right beside, because I was right beside Ray's room. Yeah, I was the further south. Oh, yeah. further south, okay. Yeah, so neither one of you got much in the way of, uh, I mean, there's a little blood, but there's not, uh, not really any, you know, bodies or anything. Um, but Ray and then Rolira and um, Jinto were up in the north room where there's a body. Uh, he says the uh, best we can do is either uh, really just cram you all into a couple rooms, don't have any bodies, to be honest. This basically what you got up here is what you got, and it looks like there's a dead body in at least one, two, three of the rooms. Plus the main hallway. I'm cool I don't with it. Think, I don't think my room has any bodies in it, and I think it we does. have a lot of things. This one right here. What? Yeah, I killed somebody up there, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that you uh, you made him drop his crossbow when you shot him in the hand. Oh, that was in my room? Yep. This one here, I think, yeah. was Ray's, wasn't it? Because she had to. Yeah, she that was, was Ray's. Ray immediately goes into us uh, into fucking Zin's room, like fuck this, I'm stealing your room. Um, share. Zin Zin will nod to Dernan. He's like, we'll, "We'll we'll make do. I I appreciate your help." I. It'll be a long day, and he heads back down the stairs uh, to go find um, someone to help. I'll take the northernmost room. Yeah, so they they spend a little while questioning you all. Um, 
uh, get everybody's account of what happened, but in the end, they find that uh, with Durnin's um, good word and and whatnot, it does sound like uh, it was probably not your fault, so they are going to let it go. However, they will say, in case we have any other questions, we need you to stick around town at least for another day or two. Uh, our captain's probably going to want to have some conversations. What was her name again? Because that's who they're talking about. I keep forgetting it. Who? The captain lady, because we spoke with her already. Lady Silverhand. Lady Silverhand? Is that the right one? Oh, no, that is uh, that is not the captain of the guard. That is uh, basically the head of the uh, mages. She's the Lord's Alliance. Yeah. yeah. She's uh she's one she's the head of the Lord's Alliance and she's got good tyings uh uh strong ties with um the mage towers in town. Um, gotcha. okay. but but she's Understood. like the head of Lord's Alliance. This is uh this has got to do with um like city guard. So I don't think you guys have had much conversation with the city guard. I don't think. I yeah, don't I just think. I was just trying to remember who they brought me to originally when I got accused the first time. Yeah, uh, that was because she, she had specifically requested it. Um, ah, hearing understood. about it because she recognized your last name first off. Okay, yeah, so the, Zin was nodding, like, understood. <laughs> Not a problem. All right, well, hope you enjoy the rest of your stay in Waterdeep. Uh, don't forget, the festival is still on for today if you're feeling up to it, seeing, like, uh, fresh scars on most of your bodies. Uh, perhaps after a little bit more rest. Aye. It's still quite early. So, uh, with that, you guys can get the rest of your rest in. Um, however, because it was broken, I'm going to say you're going to get half of your resources back. So, how this is going to work is you will not have a level of exhaustion, um, but you are only going to get half of spent spell slots back. So, if, let's say you've... Uh, uh, Ray, how many how many spell slots have you used, and of what level? Like all of them. You're you're out. Well, yeah, because I don't think Zin and I did a rest when we were out. Like I didn't um, account for that, so I don't know. Uh, you had had a long rest, and then you left for the day. You came back before the evening, so I think that this should have been all of the spell slots you've used, whatever you used tonight during this fight. So you used a bunch okay, of... Okay, so then I used two level threes, two level twos, no, one level two, and three level ones. So you, you have used 11, um, basically 11 total. Um, like in, in in counting levels, so like two level threes would be six. I also six, wanted right? to ask how many, like, how do I tell how many prepared spells I can have a day? Like, where does it tell me that? Because I just leveled your, up, but I don't know. Um, it should be in your spell casting area, uh, like not your spell page, but in your f feature section. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it is your wisdom modifier plus your druid level. And a couple of her spells that she used were from her staff. Oh, did she remove those from her sheet? Yeah, she yeah, did. I her did. staff okay. should be correct. Her staff should be correct. Okay, so uh, if, if you're using stuff from your staff, it does not use your spell slots. It's on top of your spell slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, let's say... Let's say you used, uh, just as, as an example, you used uh, two level twos. So that would total uh, basically four. So you would get uh, two spell slot levels back. So you could use that to get two level ones back. You could use it to get one level two back. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Um, same with you, Junto, uh, for your key points. Uh, you get those back on a short rest, don't you? Uh, yeah, my key. They they all they refill on a short rest. 
Uh, yeah, I just have to meditate for 30 minutes. So I, you, I was going to plan to do that before I would go to sleep. Yeah, so I, I mean, sl sleeping would do the same thing. That would be like short rest. So uh, unfortunately for me, you get your full full ones back. Hell yeah. Um, anything you guys get back on a short rest, you do get back. But if it says it resets on a long rest, you're only going to get half of it back. Make sense, everybody? So should I press the yeah. short rest button? Yeah. Well, I was going to say for, for Rolara and my Rolira and myself, would we get a full rest? Because we can sleep for four hours. It's got to do with um, not getting the... Not getting a real full rest. It was restless because you guys got up and had to do a fight. It's more of a Yeah, but I mean, we can go thing. back to bed for four hours is what I mean. From Like, we could go back and go for a full four-hour sleep again, which is a half sleep if everyone goes back up, and we'd still be up at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning is what I'm trying to say. I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm just doing fine. this for, for like, mechanical-wise. Um, okay. That's all. Like, uh, I, I unless you guys pick a fight, you're probably not going to get in a fight, so it's not going to matter. Uh, I'm just trying to yeah, introduce yeah. a new mechanic kind of thing. Gotcha. So, do we have one level of exhaustion? No. Uh, like I said, okay. you do not get a level of exhaustion because you are still getting your rest. It's just completely broken by a long okay. shot. You had to expend a whole bunch of energy and shit. Um, but you, you're not going to have exhaustion. It's kind of like taking a, a nap, two naps in a day instead of having a a full sleep kind of thing. It's inspired by Wild Now. Huh? Is this inspired by Wild Mount? No. Why? Yeah. And I just remember uh, right before Sleep Crep died, we took a quote nap. No, you you guys tried to take no, you guys tried to take a short rest, which takes oh, right. an hour, and you guys let the enemies set up on you, surround you, and then fall upon you like you know Godzilla on Tokyo, like. <laughs> Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I, I I warned you guys not to listen to Mike on that one, but it happened. Anyways, um, you guys you guys get some sleep. Um, you guys wake up. You you're still a little tired. No, not exhaustion. Before we get too far, just for flavor, Thoris is going to drag the body over to the bed and use it for a pillow. Bro, what? Yep, he's going to use him for a pillow. Cute. Okay. Um, you guys probably aren't going to get up till about eight a.m. But about seven a.m. Um, um, sorry. Can can Relira like go visit the people as they're falling asleep and say thank you for saving my life and give them gold? I mean, sure, if you'd like to. Uh, what, no, 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 what room is everybody sleeping in, by the way? No, I don't want your money. I'm going to oh. sleep in my original room on the floor now because somebody stole my bed. There's lots of room on the bed. No, that's okay. I'll sleep on the floor. Rejected! No, it wouldn't be right. <laughs> All right, so, Relira, you are aware uh, that... Those two are in that room. Thoros is in the more northern room. Uh, where are the two of you sleeping? Gento and Rhaelyra. Uh, Thoros took the room that's still got a body in it. So that you didn't have to sleep in the, the body room. Uh, oh, the, that's right. Our room has the body in it. Mm-hmm. Which Thoros is now using for a pillow, by the way. Very okay. I think I might just go I think Thoros wanted you guys to take this room. Yeah, yeah definitely. Here, here, we're down here. Oh, oh I'll, let Rel for... Rel I'll let Relira have the bed. There's a nice, comfy bear skin on the floor. Yep. And as we start settling back down to normal, normal ishness, uh, I will actually check the satchel because I haven't done that yet. Oh, wait, how much gold did you give us each? It was two gold, seven silver. Well, I want to give, I want to do it 
Ray said no. I guess Ray can deny I it. I mean, yeah, yeah, you can go to the door. Uh, so Zin and Ray, you guys hear a knock at the door. I will uh, open the door. Hello. And Relira will look kind of sad and say, I really appreciate what you guys did out there. You're impressive, you know, impressive people, beings. And uh, I would I would feel a lot better if you'd allow me to... Uh, to give you each a platinum coin. Zen will uh, Zen will look at her like that's that's very generous of you. He's like, but we are a party. How about this? Instead of you giving me a platinum, you promise to save my butt when I really need it because that's way more valuable to me than a little bit of coin. Ray Ray will like as she's kind of pulling the blankets over her and like turning to face the wall she'll be like keep your money she's like buy me a milk in the morning you can have all the milk you want and i will absolutely do whatever i can to protect you both in return that is greatly appreciated <clears throat> he's like plus i also saw you took out a few yourself so it's not like you weren't uh, important to this fight as well Rest well with the time that we have. The nods. Should I go to Thoros now? Yeah, sure. You, uh, Thoros, you get a knock on your door. I'll go to the door and answer it. I just wanted to say, uh, thank you. And, uh, you bet on me at the the bet against me at the rodeo, uh, and uh, I, I managed to to come into some funds. And I'd I'd really be you know appreciative if you could take a a, a platinum off my hands here. I'd feel a whole lot better about this whole ordeal. Oh no, you're great. This is this was fun. This was actually one of the best nights I've had in a while. I should be paying you. As he says this, you are a weird bunch. <laughs> As he says this earlier, you kind of notice uh, the bed across the room and the body where the or the spot where the body was right by the door. There's a uh, a drag mark of blood that seems to go directly to one of the beds, and there's a body just kind of thrown up and kind of crumpled into a bit of a ball. Um, at the head of the bed, and you notice Thoros has blood on one side of his face. Good night, Thoros. Good night, Aguilera. Really. Sleep well. And with that last image in your head, Relira, <laughs> you guys crash. Get your sleep or trance, whatever it is each person does. About 8 o'clock in the morning, you guys wake up. Uh, you go down for some breakfast. And, uh... Uh... About seven o'clock. Uh, Can we have a change of map? I'm over this one. Hold on, I'm not there yet. You know, I'll, I'll I'll get there. Um, about seven o'clock. You uh, you all don't exactly wake up, but you can kind of hear it while you're half asleep. Um, bodies are being removed from the rooms. Uh, you begin to hear scrubbing through the walls. Uh, Thoros, you, however, at 7 o'clock, get a knock on the door. I'll go answer the door. There is a man, uh, with what looks to be a mask on, uh, like, just covering his nose and mouth, and has a, uh, a leather apron on. Uh, I understand there's a body here I need to remove. I mean, if you want to, you don't have to. Uh, no. Can't, uh... Can't be letting the plague spread around as he kind of like looks up at you with your red eyes and your, you know, exhaling smoke. He kind well, of I means feel free. He, he he kind of like uh, sidesteps into the room, kind of not taking his eyes off you until he gets to the bed. And 
Uh, he kind of picks up the body. Uh, this man himself is rather large, but nowhere near your size. He kind of like picks up the body and starts dragging it back out, leaving a, another streak of blood. As it goes by, I'll joke me, they say, they'll have to forgive him, he's dead tired. <laughs> Fuck, damn. <laughs> uh, at that, he, he seems a little less afraid of you, and he definitely, it's hard to see. You can see his eyes smiling. Uh, he, he's definitely trying to hold back a chuckle as he kind of snorts. <laughs> oh my god. That was, that was a good one. Um, uh, thank you, sir. And with that, the bodies are clean. Throw us, you can get your last hour of sleep. I'll go wash my face off at this point before I go back to bed. All right. And with that, it is morning. See, I'll get there, Ray. Just got to give me a moment. Um, what did I find in the satchel? Um, in the satchel, um, there was there was nothing but the letter. Oh, okay, I thought I found a satchel and a letter. That's fine. No, no, that that's where you found the letter. the letter was in like a Velcro mm. pocket. Uh, there was nothing else in it. You just happened to get lucky and feel this this little spot where it didn't seem to fit right, and you ripped it open. There, that's where okay, the sweet. letter was. You love feeling the spot. Okay. Um, when we come down, I'll go straight to talk to Dernan if he's there. Uh, hey, where the fuck did Dernan go? Oh, there he is. Huge. He's kind of like leaning on the table. His he head is in his hand. He's like, kind of like starting to nod off. Hey, can we get down? Well, um, I'll just go back. Hey, how are you doing this morning? Ugh, off. Oh, a long day. I ain't got a wink of sleep. Nods. He's like, I bet it was. Again, I, I thank you for your help. And he'll hand him a small pouch. He's like, let me know if that's enough. He, he opens it up and, uh, up behind the counter, like low, so nobody else can see. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, 21 platinum pieces in it. He takes, like... I figured it'd be easier for him not to show people what it is if it's not gold <laughs> for 200 and some odd gold. Yeah, he, uh, he, he, he takes, like, four pieces out of it and kind of, uh, and ties the bag back up and hands it back to you. Uh, next time, though, find a way to, you know, let me know if something's going on. You won't, you won't have to pay at all. I'll be happy to join in. <laughs> Zin chuckles. Um, he'll push the pouch back over. He, he'll be like, I, I'll let you know in the future, but I really appreciate your help and for handling the inconvenience. Please, please. As, as Zin is doing this, Ray will like go up with him and see that like Dernan's really sleepy and she'll slide him like, try to be coy about it and slide him a potion of speed and be like this helps bob when he's feeling sleepy uh as you remove your hand he looks and he's like oh no no thank you but, uh that's some potent stuff i used to have a bit of a problem myself be careful with that now it will just like be really sad because she thought she was being nice and put it back in her pouch. Besides, the uh, the boost you get only lasts about a minute. After that, uh, I mean, you might have not, you might as well have not slept the last night. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the offer, though. Uh, but you guys have your breakfast. Um, you do notice that there's a few less patrons in here than there normally is. Because we murdered them all. <laughs> Other than that, you guys don't notice anything off. But uh, I believe you guys wanted to head to the festival, yeah? Yeah, I need to get a bag. A bag? I shared it in our group chat on Facebook. Because I'm assuming the market has like artisan and like handmade things. 
Yeah, isn't isn't that the same one you use for your herb bag? Nope, different bag. This is a crossbody bag, and it's going to be for pickles. I'm sorry, what? Pickles. Oh, like I sugar heard glider. you. That, that, that was a shocked been? one. Oh, oh, pickles. Your your sugar glider. Come on, I've only been talking about him since forever. You're gonna put him in a bag? I know about pickles. Sounds like animal yeah, abuse. Yeah, gonna, that's gonna no, that's gonna be his like little bed, and I'll make it fluffy, and I'll put fur in there, and sometimes I'll give him peanuts. Uh, okay, sure. So you guys are doing your shopping then? Is there anything else yeah, anybody just like, needs? Just like quick art. We don't have to like go deep into it. We can just like RP it out and be done. I just need to go to talk to Bob to fill up my um my ring. Okay. Anything I just else? I got a comb and brush. Uh, a brush? Comb and brush for cattle. <laughs> Don't judge. Nice. Like a boar brush, like a boar bristle brush. <clears throat> uh, kind of like yeah. All right, the brush is going to cost you two silver. Um, the bag, uh, bag is going to cost you five silver. Um, what spell are you trying to get him to fill this up with, Zen? Uh, it depends on the cost, but I was gonna get uh, a haste spell because that's that's all I that's all I have room for right now. But if that one's too expensive, then... uh... I can help. Well, it's more about cost effectiveness because it's a consumable item for me. Where oh where is? Oh, so there it is. Magic item prices. Uh, haste is level three. That is four hundred GP. Four hundred for for haste. Yep. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Right. I'll share with you. Man, I got a couple. You didn't sleep in the bed, but I'll still help you pay for your thing. No, that's fine. I have money. Got a sugar mama. What the actual fuck is happening? I'm offering to pay for your money. You don't sleep in the same bed. No, I have money. I have. It's not about the money. It's about cost effectiveness. Is it worth me getting it for 400 gold? Is, is the debate I had to do in my head. That's Ray is starting to feel very neglected. At this point, I'm waiting for the phrase, we need to talk. <laughs> Jesus. Just talk about the ground. All right. Is there anything anybody else wants before you guys head out to the... Um... um to the festival? Wait, are we like, what are we? We're not going to RP it out. You can just tell me what you want. And if you got money for it, you can get it. Which is platinum to gold? Uh, copper to silver and silver to gold and gold to platinum is basically uh, 10. So like uh, 10 platinum is 100 gold and, and so on. Okay, cool. How much would it be for like two potions of healing? Uh base healing? Yeah. Uh the base potion is two hundred gold each for potion of healing. If you want greater, it is four hundred a piece. God, never mind. Nah, bruh, we'll craft them. I can craft them for ya. Cool, because that's all I need, so never mind. All right. <clears throat> so, you guys get what your, your items you want. Um, Relir, is there anything you want before we head out? No, it's okay. All right. So, um... You guys are near up by the marketplace where they've done, where they still have the rodeo going on. Um, there was, uh, there's a tavern run throughout the, the city. Uh, it takes a good portion of the day. It's probably going to take about two hours to do the tavern run because there's lots of places that you would have to stop. Um, there's also, if you go down to the port, there is Gnome uh near the port uh if you want to go down there you have a a fishing one i believe like a fishing contest and uh there is something called a wizard's tower uh like not an actual building but it's a game 
So where would you guys like to go? And what would you like to do? Well, I thought Ray was looking for a bag. She already got her bag. I, I said it was uh, five silver. Like I said, we're not we're not going to RP out the shopping. We're just going to like run through it. I'll give you the price. Did we find their pickles? I think we have to we pick pickles up when we go back down yep. into the dungeon. This is correct. But Savage, um, we don't have to figure it out right now. We can do it after. But I would like to buy because I don't know exactly what the item would be, but I would like to buy like a little trinket or something that. Uh, offer some sort of protection that I can put on to pickles. But we can discuss that after the game. Um, so any, uh, I'll tell you this now. Um, like, are you talking like an attunement item? Because like cloaks and rings of protection, they're attunement items, which he would not have the intelligence to attune to that. Or are you no, talking like armor? Like... A... like... Yeah, it doesn't have to be like a magical item. It can be, I just want to get him like... I don't know, like a little vest or something that can offer him like a little bit of extra. I just want to protect him so that he doesn't die. I mean, that that is fair, but I will warn you that uh, the best you're going to be able to get, like it's going to up his AC by like one. So that's fine. Because it's going to have to be so thin that he can carry it and something like that. Uh, I mean, him getting stepped no, on is still going to crush it. He'll wear it or something. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is that if it like it's only giving him about one AC because like if something steps on him, it, it's going to have to be so thin and weigh so little that it's not really going to help much at all. It's more of a or like it, it's more of a, a thematic kind of thing, not really a mechanic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What which about... is fine because like. I was going to say, what about something like an iron inlay for the satchel? Yeah, because like, I'm never planning on using him during combat. Just so that you know, he'll be more of like an RP piece, not an actual combat helper piece. That is fair. I'm just going to warn you that if you want to keep him safe, yes, Zinn is right, an iron inlay might help. Um, but you're basically going to want to take him off and put him in a fucking corner where he's not going to get hit. Because a fireball goes off, like it's, he's still going to get toasted. That's not me trying to be a dick. That's that's in and steal your your new pet away. That's just like it, like that's how that kind of thing would work mechanically. Is there like an extra dimensional bag he can be put into where he isn't not able to breathe? That's gonna be a few hundred gold uh, minimum. It might even be over a thousand. But yes, you could get uh, an extra dimensional um, bag that kind of gives him his own breathable uh, extra dimensional layer. Sure. That could be a smart idea, babe. It will be expensive, though. Extra dimensional space is not cheap. Yeah, 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 I got money. Yeah, <laughs> she just starts fucking making it rain platinum pieces. <laughs> <laughs> if it's for pickle, I'll pay whatever it takes. <laughs> yeah, no, that that is definitely something we could do. <laughs> All right, so uh, are you guys heading to port, or do you want to uh, hit some more of the festival attractions in the um, in the main area of uh, the marketplace? Or we could go get our reward. Yeah, let's do that, and then we can go down. I think they wanted to stay away from the market, so we would go down to the docks. All right, there we go. All right, took a minute for that map to load. Um, you know what? I'm going to say you're probably... Yeah, they they would probably tell you what I had to go to the... Um, go to the uh, to Castle Water Deep to get your reward. Uh, probably a guardhouse there. Um, so a port is in the opposite direction because you guys are currently here. Um, Castle Water Deep is here, and the port is. Uh, I'm gonna say probably where the games are is probably around what's D fifty six. Guard barracks. Uh, okay, probably not there. Probably down. Down around this area here. 
kind of the middle of the port. Uh, there's a larger street and stuff down here. So did you guys want to go get the reward or you want to go down to the port festivities? Holy shit, they got the Great Harbor. I, uh, I, I think we're going to do the reward and then um, to the harbor, right? Yeah, I think that's smart. Good to have more money. Well, I just, I mean, they promised, they said a reward because they were wanted, so I figured, why not? Dead or alive, right? I, they just said there was a re there's a reward because they were wanted, so I don't know if there were stipulations on it. Not for me. Yeah, I think we'll get the reward and then head to the dock. I'm sorry, I was muted. I've been talking for like the last three minutes. I'm like, everybody's cut me off. Why are they cut me off like that? Well, it's because I'm muted. So. Oh, I just thought oh, you were looking for a place. No. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wow, you guys didn't even hear where I told you you guys were going to go? Oh, no, wow. I, I've been muted that, for a while. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, we're just like, I was just like, oh, he's <laughs> probably trying to figure it out because he said he'd figure it out later. So I was like, he's looking through the list of oh, no. one to a million. No, I had it. I'm like, Jesus, everybody's cutting me off. Like, fuck am I? Chop liver? Goddamn. <laughs> I've been muted for like nope, five nope. minutes. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, so he tells you go to Castle Water Deep. So it's up here. And then your your other your other thing is down here, the festival. So you guys, it's going to take you a good 45 minutes or so to get up there. As you guys approach the guard tower, uh, several of the men immediately come on guard, um, seeing Thoros in the lead. Uh, this big, very dark, leathery um, minotaur with red eyes and smoke breathing out his nostrils. But no blood. Yeah. He, uh, they, they kind of like are on guard and uh, as you approach and you hear a voice, uh, settle down, men. We, we're, we're expecting him. You, uh, you're Thoros, correct? I am. So you got a couple of our most wanted, and he, uh, he's wearing an insignia that tells you that he is the, uh, captain of the guard. Uh, it wasn't just me, it was our entire team. Well, I mean, I'll let you split it up however you wish. Uh, let's see. He pulls out a book and he looks down. Uh, dead and dead. Huh. Too bad he didn't capture them alive. They were worth a lot more. Um, but he says, uh, yeah, last night we could have resurrected him. Well, I These mean, are key details. Hey, you know, I, enough, I don't know enough. what to tell you, but he, he says, oh, uh, come with me if you will. And he takes you inside the guardhouse. The, the other guards seem to relax a bit, but they still keep a rather tight grip on their weapons. Uh, as, as you walk in Thoros, uh, he says, oh. Don't really see uh, many of your kind around here, although when we do, usually it is uh, Bounty Hunter. Is that your line of work? Uh, no, I'm a Bible salesman. 
I sell holy texts door to door. He stops and he looks up at you. He's not sure if you're joking or not. Ah, uh, well, all right then. Well, you know, we're, we've always got a bounty on somebody. So, you know, you ever, uh, ever looking for some work? You always come by. He, uh, he, he opens a book and he takes a look. He's like, all right, so you've got <laughs> Jebediah Golden Fingers. All right, so there's this one. And uh, he starts counting out. Um, he's like, uh, it's platinum, all right? It'll take me a lot less time. That's fine. He starts counting out some platinum pieces and he says, uh, and he also got. Um, Needin. Needin fast hands. Starts counting out some more platinum. Well, here you go. And uh, he puts it in a, a, a bag for you. He says, uh, just so you know, that's uh, it's about uh, 150 platinum. And if you caught him alive, you would have got double. You know, just keep that in well, mind we for were extra work. We're expecting nothing, so. Says, uh, are you uh, planning on enjoying the festival today? Says, so before we get too far, did you say 1500 or 150? 150 platinum. My bad, you're right, Sam. That's what I get for trying to do the math wizard's job. <laughs> not a math wizard at all but just trying to make it easier for everybody yeah so that basically uh I appreciate that. Th th 30 platinum or 300 gold you can put it in however you wish doesn't matter <laughs> um i mean honestly uh to the regular man really era 10 gold like most people make like a gold a month for for like commoner wages. Yeah, yeah a lot facts. of food and stuff is paid with like copper coins, and that's being generous to like a lot of places. Yeah, so gold is one gold is a lot. Um, but yeah, he says, "Well, enjoy the festival. Uh, today's the last day, so hope you have fun. See you again soon. I hope." A lot of criminals around here these days. Am I muted again? No? Okay. Nope. You're, you're not now. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Thank you for the money. Hi. For the platinum. You guys walk out and you head down towards the uh, docks to check out the festivities. Uh, actually, you know what? A better place would probably be about here. Uh, so this is going to take you about an hour and 20 minutes to get down there. Um, however, we are at 5 o'clock, so I guess we will be finishing the festival. Uh, next weekend everybody still good for the next two weekends for saturdays please say yes yep uh i yep, will not we'll be just... here but julian's playing for me next time very well i'll be there excellent excellent we'll just fast track the festival and then like carry on with whatever else we want to do well, um, with that, uh, I'm going to say you do notice the that there is a fishing contest that starts every hour on the hour, and there is uh, another couple games down there. But we will pick up with that next session. We are at roughly 11.30 a.m. All right. Um, so with that, uh, I'm just going to outro the stream real quick and I will be our bees.